Awesome. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Winter VRD 2019. I'm Eric Levine. I'm Matt Wynn. And in just a couple minutes here, we're going to be bringing you the draft. Now, Matt, I, I, I know you've, you've got a lot of experience playing Magic over over the the course of time have you done one of these before i have not no it's sort of it's it's been very patchy um you know like i was still playing when vintage was known as type one mm -hmm. standard was type two just very very much off and on i'm like you know there, there are eleven thousand cards about to be <laughs> chosen i'll say i you know my knowledge is probably only about two thousand of them thankfully i you know was able to compile some data and do some homework so nice Hopefully, I'll be able to like keep myself above water. Oh yeah, I'm sure you know the important ones. That's that's what matters here. There'll be some. I'm sure there'll there'll be some weird sideboard cards that uh, that some of these players pull up that are that we're gonna have to look up part way through. Right, right. That's the thing. When I was like tr trying to learn what this whole format was, I just kept you know looking at different things and um, just you know like some of the first cards I get taken are usually like black lotus boxes. Um, time walk, time vault, and then from there, everyone kind of adjusts. Kind of, you know, I do have I do have experience doing fantasy football drafts, so right. you know, I'm kind of looking at those cards like as you know, streamlined running backs, and then you know, good wide receivers that I could take, and if that's any way to like make any sort of transition here. Yeah, the, the nice thing about Black Lotus is that unlike uh, Saquon Barkley, it can't get hurt halfway through the season. Right. Yeah. So. Exactly. You know, not not salty at all about what happened to my fantasy team. No, that's Ooh. not. <laughs> oh, I'm about to retire. I can't do it to myself anymore. It's tough. It's tough, and it's tough. so supporting the NFL is also a yeah uh, really tough, especially like you know, watching primetime football is just. A, exhausting now oh, it's terrible yeah all right it looks like first pick is coming in uh we did dri decide draft order just before the stream started it looks like cj is starting it off traditional with black lotus following up up oh. oh wow they're really going fast bond fast bond yeah oh. kyle richter taking us in an interesting direction with fast bond that tells me that he has a plan let me pull up fast bond for everybody because that doesn't normally go third um fast bond obviously Kyle is looking to abuse some sort of land-related strategy. It's hard to say too much more about it at that at this point. Um, did you think Fast Bond was going to show up in our first round of the no, draft? No, I did not. I'm looking on here. I think I had most people taking it in like you know the fourth round. Yeah, fourth or sixth. That sounds about right. Usually, usually in that in that area of the draft. So Kyle's really making a statement here. He could have had a mox. He could have had. Uh, third is often the time vault spot, but instead he's really made stake, staked his claim to fast bond. And we'll see how that plays out for yeah. him. See if we get some crucible, run him up, excavator action going on. Oh, ancestral yeah. recall being taken for us. Recall a pretty uh, ancestral, rather a pretty pretty traditional early pick. Draw three cards is is uh, you know pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> hey hey. <laughs> That's not a card name I recognize, no, uh -huh. Elaine. Is that an unglued card? <laughs> it might be. It might be one of those playtest cards from the yeah. mystery boosters. Those aren't legal. You won't be seeing. Uh, you won't be seeing animate spell in this draft. Fast bond has gone first round two drafts in a row. Interesting. Yeah. I have a vague memory of the last VRD, but you know, mimosas. Right. <laughs> mimosas will do that. <laughs> Well, the weird thing is I have a date at, at like 8 o'clock after this, too. So this is going to be a very interesting <laughs> day. If she ever tunes in and watches this, I'm be like, yeah, so remember that, you know, second date we had? Here we are. I oh. feel like if she tunes in and watches, that's pretty good, right? Right. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't... Oh, well, we just got Time Vault off the board. All right. Elaine going for the, the Time Vault deck. Time Vault, uh, a pretty easy one to abuse. Even if uh, one of your keys gets sniped, there's always another one. Yeah, it's one of those cards you, I feel like you have to lock yourself in. It's like, that's your strategy, you know? Yeah. I feel like there are different routes at the end of the day. Like, even if you get hate drafted, you can go in different routes with Fast Bond, but Time Vault, you're pretty much locked in. Yeah, and the, but the nice thing about Time Vault is there's just, there's just so many enablers. Yeah, exactly. Somebody takes Manifold Key, there's Voltaic Key, Galvanic Key, Voltaic Servant, Tezzeret the Seeker, the list goes on and on and on forever. Alright, now we got some Moxes coming off the board. Pretty standard. Yeah. Moxes going, leaving Ruby and Pearl behind, as we frequently do. Also still got Time Walk available. Ooh, yes, that's right. Looks like Cody Gunnett is primed for a, uh, a double Mox wheel here. Of course, the 
the player on the, the right side is going to get two picks in a row in this traditional snake draft format that you might be familiar with from fantasy sports or similar. Right, right. It's Ruby. Ruby Mana and Crypt. Mana Crypt. Okay. That's, all right, that's pretty strong. Cody saying, I'd rather have Mana Crypt and flip some coins. Ren and six. Ooh, Ren and six. One of the newer cards from Modern Horizons being sniped off the board. Interesting. That's our first Planeswalker. I didn't think that would be our first Planeswalker taken. Did today. not. Same. That's maybe. also, well, now, you know, maybe Mike can go that that lands route. Maybe Mike is feeling sort of the pressure. A, I feel like that's sort of like a snipe on, uh, on Kyle Richter. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's feeling the pressure from Kyle taking the fast one and saying, "I need to move in on this yeah. on this earlier." I feel like if if that were me, if and and this is speaking, you know, it's easy to talk from the commentary booth and not not the draft table. But if that were me, I'd have a new plan right about when Kyle took fast bond. I'd say, "All right, time to pivot." But yeah, same. I mean, there's there's some different routes you can go with that too. It doesn't have to be like strip lock or anything like that. I mean, he can easily make this more of like a ramp deck. Brandon feeling pretty good, I assume, about taking that pearl. Elaine, Elaine on Soul Ring, just fast mana all the way down. Yes, he also did walk in with his own bowl of granola and <laughs> yogurt, the most hipster thing I've ever seen. It was beautiful. And I've seen Alex Worth work at a coffee shop. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's time, time walk late. All Who's right. Got, oh, channel up. Oh, Kyle took channel. Kyle taking channel to go with his fast bond. Time to the All right, now going to round three. Yep, here we go down to round three, and here's where I expect to see some of the some of the newer cards come in. I've been thinking a lot about Oko Thief of Crowns from Throne of Eldraine. I would not be surprised to see that card go in the, the next round or two. What do you think about that? I was thinking that would be more of like a fifth or sixth round pick. Like I said, I thought actually that... I thought either Jace or Oko would be the first Planeswalker taken. Ren and Six was a bit of a surprise. but it is, it is a surprise. I know, at least in the last couple of VRDs, Narset, the Parter of Veils, and Karn the Great Creator have both gone pretty early on. I'd be expecting to see those coming yeah. in pretty soon as well. Karn, of course, locking out opposing artifacts and then locking out your opponent's whole deal with, uh, with Micah and Lattice. And Narset, just the enemy of card draw. But CJ, looking for one of those one-mana draw spells. Yeah, Preordain, that's pretty strong. Does this, does this speak to maybe a storm strategy from CJ following Time Twister with Preordain, do you think? Oof, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I, I don't know, I can't decide if that's strategy or that's just a good value. Oh, there's Oko. There's Oko. Oko. The Let's take a look at Oko, Thief of Crowns. Strip mine. All right, Kyle's going strip lock for sure. Yes, that's so we're going to see one of the uh, Crucible analogs, analogs coming from Kyle soon, I would assume. But here's Oko, Thief of Crowns. Oko looks uh, pretty innocuous at first until you realize that Turn everything into elk. Yeah, everything becomes an elk. All everything you love, your time vault, your uh, well, your time vault being the sort of the best thing to turn into an elk here so yeah. far that's been picked. Just Oprah, just look under your chair. You get an elk. <laughs> you get an elk. You get an elk. Making sure that throne of elk drain is properly represented, even if yeah. he's banned in standard, he is here in vintage rotisserie draft. And that was oh, vamp tutor. Yep. So John's definitely going in more of that. Mono black mid range mode it seems. Yeah. Well, tutors, tutors, and then some dis probably gonna see some discard in the next few rounds. Thought yeah. sees. I would expect Thought Seize to rest that kind of card to show up for John in the middle rounds once we're out of these more contested cards. Thought sees probably pretty early though, as that does tend to be. I'm gonna make possible. a strong strong prediction here and maybe say Brandon's going for more of a I don't know, Jet and Pearl. Maybe he's going like a hate bears. We'll see. I think uh I mean, worst case scenario with those two moxes early on, you're staying pretty wide open because yeah. any deck can really use that fast mana in this format. Yeah, exactly. One of the cards that we were talking about earlier on, and I want to put it up here, it was a discussion I was having with uh, with a couple other folks this morning, was about uh, this card that I'll put on the screen. More of a combo card, but Arcane Savant. Have you seen this one? I have not. It's from Conspiracy, so... Um, at the beginning of the game, you can reveal it and exile an instant or sorcery card that you drafted that isn't in your deck, so something in your sideboard. Uh, say, Let's say, for example, just as an example, I don't know, Biorhythm. Um, and then you could uh, show and tell or otherwise cheat in your Arcane Savant 
well, I guess not show and tell because your opponent might put in a creature, but you could uh, sneak in your savant, savant some other way with fast mana and just play it when your opponent has uh, no other creatures. And then when it enters the battlefield, it copies that exiled instant or sorcery and casts it. So in the case of something like Fire Rhythm, well, you, you might just win the game on the spot when you go to one and your opponent goes to zero. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm guessing we'll see something like that out of these players. I know that there's been uh, some discussion about it, let's say, coming in. Yeah, so basically kind of like the Karn version of, but for instance, sorceries. Yes. Kind of okay. Yeah, exactly. So being able to like have all these like really strong instance of sorceries in your sideboard, just in case, like getting some like late round value and just being able to throw that down and say, all right, cool. I didn't think I'd have a need for board wipes here in game one, but all right, well, here we go. Exactly. As long as you've drafted the cards that you need. Of course, this only works with cards that you've drafted. So don't try to use this in your local legacy or vintage tournament. You're going to have a bad time if you do. Yes, very, very much so. Yeah, I think the last time I played, I actually remember playing a true vintage tournament. I ended up, it was like back in, I don't know, the mid-2000s. Two, mid I was mm -hmm. still in high school. I ended up winning a deck based off Strip Mine. <laughs> I remember, so my, my it was like, a, you know, my, my the championship round. It was like, this is like a hundred person tournament nice. and this guy was rolling with power like he you know he was like he we were gonna split and he's like no i'm not gonna split i'm just gonna take all the money from you I'm yeah like, okay and then i'm winning he, he played mask knot he was like first turn black lotus mask like did his thing and i ended up winning i ended up like diabolic eating eating him <laughs> and he was just, what's it. going on i'm like you don't know you're about to lose this right. is great because you've brought you've brought the hate for his strategy yeah. all right narset carter veils a lot of a lot of clapping from the other uh, the other room. Not Brandon's not sure just why. taking moxes, just Brandon, like he's taking you know his healthy granola. Yeah, healthy granola, healthy dose of moxes in the morning. I'll get you going. He's feeling good. Elaine taking that Narset we were talking about a little bit earlier wants to lock her opponents out of that card draw, and get some card draw herself. All right, that answers my question. I was just like, why, why a third round Narset? But you know what? That makes sense. It's there's very 11, powerful. Yeah, there's a lot of insane card draw that goes on. Imagine casting Time Twister with your own Narset in play. That's pretty strong. Yeah, feels good. Unfortunately for Elaine, Time Twister is still in the hands of CJ over there. And as far as I know, we have not enacted any rules for Tradesies. So it's going to stay there. Oh, actually, I answered my own question, too. I do have Narset part of Veils on my second, third round. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, some other cards I got hanging out. Let's see, we got Mana, um, Mana Vault. Yeah, where's Mana Vault? Um, we got Tinker, Dark Confidant, Thought Seize, Imperial Seal, mm -hmm. Karn, Great Creator, uh, Crucible of Worlds, Mana Drain, Force of Will, Brainstorm, Wasteland, Show and Tell. So a lot of, definitely a lot of value still going on. A lot of powerful cards still out there in the draft as Mike Viviano. Yeah, I think some of the ones that kind of slipped pick. that were, uh, you know, the Ren and Six, the Fast Bond, Despian Stage. Hmm. That's Despian Stage. So Mike Viviano potentially looking for a Dark Depths combo. Okay, that makes more sense now. Or, you know, maybe there's some other, uh, some other scenario I haven't really come up with, but I would say the most common, certainly the most common thing, would be to turn it into a dark depths, let that uh, let that state state trigger resolve, and get yourself a twenty twenty merit lage. So, uh, all you gotta do is give that thing haste. Yeah, you know, or 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 just or open just some eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that you know, helps too. Path of Exile, Sword Supply Shares, and their ilk do end up in the draft. And merit lage, while it does have. Indestructible lacks hexproof, so there is there is a lot of uh, opportunity to destroy it. Of course, cards like Diabolic Edict, as you were mentioning, do also deal with the Merit Lage. Oh, that would feel so good. <laughs> Just, I mean, it felt so it felt really good, you know, that like having him sacrifice a uh, you know a twelve twelve trampler. Yeah, after they all do all after that work in the old so stifle smug, deck, he was going to win that game. <laughs> that too. Well, there's this deck that used they used to play. It was called. Um, the reason why I built that deck is because there was a, you know, A, I was poor, and it was like a $50 deck. And right. B, one of the most popular decks at the time was called Full English Breakfast. Ooh, and it yes. involved Oath of Druids and being able to, like, you know, get out, um, let's see, Acroma was the big one back then. Mm -hmm. Then there was this other guy that was, like, 7-6 flying, um, like, 
five mana, five and three black from Tempest. Oh yeah, Spirit of the Night. Yeah, that guy. And then yeah, there was so it just evolved like of all these you know, these just being able to like just it was kind of like a an old school version of Show and Tell or right. Droyo's Vengeance that kind of thing. The classic cheat your mana, cheat out big stuff type of deck. Yeah, and I was tired of losing to that because I was playing Burn at the time. So I was like, okay, here you go. I'm if I can't kill this, I'll make it sack. Oh. Cody okay, well, Gunnett with the counter pick of Dark Depths, looking uh -oh. to make Mike Viviano pay for his Thespian stage pick. Now, how do you feel about counter drafting this early in a format like this? I don't know. I just hope you have a backup plan. Yeah, I just I I, I wonder mean, is this is this the best way to spend I think your you third just, round? At pick? this part, at this point, I think you just I don't know. Do you just go for the Crucible now? Do you? I kind of feel like you do that. Yeah, Mike. Uh, there's there's certainly a lot of a lot of room here for people to to move around, but Mike is probably pretty sad to lose out on Dark Depths to Cody. Cody, unless this is a meme, if this is a meme, you know, props to Cody, but it looks like a real pick to me. Yeah. Maybe let's see. Mm -hmm. What else he takes? Extremely Mana Crypts, Dark Depths. Time Walk second round. Yes, yes. Time Walk made it all the way to the second round. We had some. Uh, Thanks to first round fast bond, time walk got around pretty far. But I think players do properly value that fast mana. Right, right. Um, geez. Time walk has gone around two last two drafts. Interesting. I wonder. Hmm. Is that is that right or is that something that that somebody should be exploiting? I don't know. I think it. I think it makes. I think that makes sense. I mean, yeah. it's one of the most powerful cards in the game. I'm surprised Mox fired. Yeah, I am bit. too. A little bit, yeah. I think Ancestral's uh, very high raw power. Okay, Mishra's Workshop. Mishra's Workshop. So Cody looking for some of that big artifact mana. All but tells us that that Dark Depths was just a counter pick for Mike's Thespian stage. Interesting. Right, right. I feel like if you use if I use my pick to nullify your pick, right? I feel like the other six players just got way ahead of us. Yes, exactly. Soulfire Grandmaster. Yeah, no. a lot of decks. Uh, Time Walk does play the role of rampant growth or explore or other cards like that. I feel like explore is a pretty good analog for for the Time Walk in a lot of situations, unless there is some way that you can, you know, create early board pressure and then use Time Walk. I think did. Uh, did two VRDs ago, did Daniel Zelinski have that in his Infect deck, or did he have Ancestral? I don't recall. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, and that's another strategy I haven't really seen unraveled here is Infect. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe Cody? Well, when uh, when when Dan Zelinski did it uh, a couple drafts ago, he, we didn't figure out that he was Infect, or at least I was drafting. I wasn't in the booth. We, we were... Uh, he had Ancestral, okay. Uh, we didn't figure out he was Infect until, like, pick 20 or something when he picked Glistener Elf, and we, we all collectively were like, oh, he played us. Yeah. He played us. Which, you know, he did. He went on to win that draft. Right, right. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I think of, like, a lot of the Infect cards. You're not really getting a lot of good value out of a lot of them. Like right. Just, I, think, I think at this point of the game, it's, you know, just kind of going back to that fantasy football draft analogy. You're just trying to, like, take the best players available, and then you kind of, like, Try to fit in, you know, who your backups are going to be. Maybe like taking, you know, a sleeper pick. Yep. And I think, yeah, I think at this point, you know, like maybe the backup instead of like the backups, if you're going for more of your strategies with some. Yep. Mike feeling a little salty about his uh, the loss of Dark Depths to Cody. Well, you know, should have played around it. I guess that's what they say anyway. <laughs> yeah, I feel. I mean. That Ren and Six pick, though, I think they just kind of locked him in. And, you know, same with the Fast Bond, too. Everyone was like, well, okay. Wasteland. Oh, Wasteland. Of course, the uh, the slightly inferior version of Strip Mine, just, here, just out here to destroy non-basics, right. which means that uh, Kyle really has the run of things in terms of actually you strip locking people with uh, crucible and i expect a crucible type card to be mox, next pick. mox opal so he's just drafting mox dot deck over here <laughs> mox tribal for brandon curry as he locks in the metal craft mox a classic 
classic judge promo. Can we take a Lotus pedal next? What other moxes do we have available? Chrome mox, Chrome mox is still yeah, around. Yeah, that's true. Uh, mox Amber, if he wants to get real weird. There's a, there's some other moxes. Yeah. There's uh there's some <laughs> mox tantalite. Yes. Oh, that's right. If you yeah. really if you really want if you want a mox but you don't want to see it for a while, mox tantalite is the card for you. Also, don't play mox tantalite. I don't recommend no. it. <laughs> if you play mox tantalite, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Jewel Amulet. <laughs> hey, I've played that in Commander. <laughs> Not C E D H, mind you. Not really. Much. So yeah, I think once again, I think Brandon's just, you know, it, it may sound silly, but he's just nothing. Nothing really locking himself in. He's just taking really good cards and building yeah. up fast mana. And I think that's gonna let him to do whatever he wants. I mean, you know, um, I'm still I'm still hanging on to my hate bear. Theory, yeah, because I think that's kind of like the style of player he is. That is some sort of, um, I don't know, uh, just some sort of like Orza value. Yeah, could be Tinker coming in for a lane. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tinker here. I know that when I drafted Time Vault in uh, the Time Vault deck in BRD two, I was obviously looking for Tinker. Uh, did I get Tinker? I don't think I did. I had Goblin Engineer, I remember that. But I feel like I would want Tinker here just to make getting Time Vault a little more a little more academic, get some redundancy, because that's what that deck is all about, is redundancy. Right. Narset, of course, helping to provide Dig, Dig Through, through time. time. A uh, fantastic Pioneer card right now, Dig Through Time, lets you really, well, dig through your deck. And evolve. Force of Will going off the board. Kyle locking in a quick Force of Will off of Fast Bond Channel Strip Mine. I wonder what that means. Looking for some sort of blue green land land related strategy. Well, just as a, someone commented, uh, crazy combo involving Fast Bond Windfall. So. Yes, we could uh, we could see something like that out of Kyle. He might have been inspired. I know he was here running logistics last time. He might have been inspired by Brandon's uh, previous list. Mana Drain coming in for Cody Owen. And Just Mystical tutor. tutor for CJ. I really think CJ is looking for Storm here. We'll see if that this fifth pick will tell us something. Yep, definitely getting all the value, searching and drawing right now. Yep. Ponder. Ponder. There's the other. Okay, that yeah that. Yep. All right. Um, we've got was... some kind of combo deck here. Yeah. Don't know what it is yet. CJ may not know what it is yet, but we've got a combo deck coming down the pipeline. Is my guess with. With Twister and all this card selection. JTMS joining the Planeswalker ranks here. Yeah, that's the first one I thought would pick, but instead it's the third. No, fourth, sorry. Narset. Yep, we have Ren and Six. We Emery. have Narset, oh. Coco, Jace. Here's Emery, Lurker of the Lock, one of the most exciting cards out of Throne of Eldraine. Dumps cards into your graveyard and then lets you play artifacts out of your graveyard. I bet Brandon's sad to see that one go. Probably, yeah. See, that's, that's so so Kyle's definitely going with that combo style. And I honestly, I thought Once Upon a Time was going to be the next Eldrain card taken. I'll be shocked if Once Upon a Time doesn't go fairly soon in a 40 card format, I, it, especially with the London Mulligan. I feel like uh, Once Upon a Time is going to come in pretty, pretty soon. Yeah, we could see we could see Once Upon a Time from Mike as early as this round or even from one of these other players it's hard to know there's there the duels all the duels are still out there all the fetch lands are still out there there are still so many ways to fix your mana that uh, even if you are worried about casting once upon a time outside of just for free in your opening hand I mean it's Cody I'm very susceptible to peer pressure ah oh, did the table bully you into taking dark depths Cody well he can't hear me so we'll never know I'm going to assume so. <laughs> that sounds very possible. I'm sure the it's other... Like being a it's like being in a poker game. You know what? Just just, just, ant just, just raise. Don't ante. Just raise. Go go, go for this. Brainstorm. Oh, brainstorm. Oof. I assume that's Elaine typing uwu down in row 12. That seems like something she would do. But hard to know in this... Uh... I, I, too, am amazed Elaine has floated the tinker for this long... I assume we'll see it here. I think it's going to go now. Yeah. If she doesn't take it, Brandon might. Yeah, that's true. 
I'd start to worry at that point. Or Cody with the Mishra's Workshop also might take a... Uh, that was CJ, not Elaine typing Uwu. All right, that, that tracks. Yeah, Tinker usually goes pretty pretty early. I uh, Prismatic Vista, Vista coming up for Elaine. That's a fantastic Modern Horizons card. Elaine looking for the ability to get any basic untapped at the cost of just one life. I'll be honest, I've just never been a big fan of this card. I don't know. Maybe it's... I for, think it's. For, I mean, it, I just never, I just never really. But to be fair, though, I've never really used it. For, I don't know. In an environment where you don't have, don't necessarily have access to the dual lands that you might like, Prismatic Vista is a fantastic way of keeping yourself open for a splash, um, because Elaine looks like she is in blue, but might not have decided on a potential second color yet. So it's possible that she's just trying to keep her options open and make sure that she can generate whatever colors of mana that she might need in a given game. Okay. Would have picked the Curator round one. Well, I won my I won my game of uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds this morning with Curator. So, uh, so, so don't ban it. Don't, don't ban Curator. All right. Let's see if Brandon goes for the Mox Amber. Is it time for Mox Amber? Chrome Mox? Mox Jewel Lotus amulets. from Unglued? <laughs> yeah. Some other kind of mox we haven't we haven't uncovered yet. Could be anything. Gilded yeah, Lotus. I, I still don't see. I I see him being another one of those guys that doesn't really go with their strategy until like round twenty. Just like you were saying with Infect, all of a sudden he's doing things, but just not really sure. You know what what format you can go. Uh, I don't believe we can pick him unglued. Is yeah, that no. Correct? Yeah. No silver bordered cards. Uh, no no play test cards. So. Uh, Oh, Brandon, taking Dark Confidant, also known as Bob, Bob Maher. Exploration. Card. Exploration for Mike. So Mike and, and Kyle are going to be fighting, it looks like. Yeah. Looks like a, a land battle is starting there. Action on scoop on. Oh, good. <laughs> well, there's, there's, we got a lot of drinks, as you can see. Our, yeah. our The red solo cups are out in full force, so... Uh, we're ready. We're ready for Ashnod's coupon here. Yes, I think. definitely. <laughs> and uh, what what uh, what regular? I mean, what um, what non silver board cards are still being, like Chaos Orb, obviously. Chaos Orb. Uh, so so dexterity cards and anti cards, cards that are banned are outright in vintage or right out. So cards like I don't know Temerian Fiends, if you want to go real deep on anti cards. Yeah. Or something like uh, Falling Star would also not be legal. If you want to get real deep on dexterity right, cards, right, okay. here. <laughs> yeah, we're so anything that's banned in vintage, banned here. Anything that's not tournament legal in vintage, also not legal here. Silverboard cards, conspiracies, playtest cards for mystery boosters, all not happening. Grim monolith for Cody. Some more fast mana for him. Let's see if he what he follows it up with. Feel like someone should slam fire blast and hard audible into that deck. Um, I don't have, <laughs> yeah, I don't have stats on Biz Bizarre, but I have it um, in my seventh to tenth rounders, and all, as well as like eleventh to fifteenth rounders. Yeah, let me oh. see when we. Oh, we have actual stats though. Thirteen, it's been thirteen times. Record twenty-seven and thirty-nine. So Bizarre, not a huge winning strategy. Uh, bizarre, not in my notes. Chalice of the basic Void list. off the board. Chalice, really? Okay. And then a Life from the Loam. Cody looking to punish players like CJ for combo strategies. Maybe lock out some of those Moxon the other players have. And Life from the Loam coming in for Mike. Looking like a discount version of the Crucible Strip Mine Lock with Life from the Loam <laughs> Wasteland. <laughs> Any dreadful version. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, where is Tinker? Tinker, let me look at my Tinker data. I've got my very official stats here. Do, 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 do. Combo cards. Tutors. Tinker. Tinker usually goes, it looks like in round two, average pick of the previous 14 BRDs that I have data on, it goes about 14th pick. So Tinker floating incredibly late here. Yes. Um, still Vatsis as well, Imperial Seal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of tutors still out there. And no one's taken the crucible yet, have they? Yeah. No crucible and not a single dual land, not a single fetch land taken, although that tends to match up with uh, with trends so far. Which VRDs do I have data on? I have da, 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 da. I'll have to check my spreadsheet. I have the three St. Louis ones, I have the, the eight Northwest ones, I have two from from Portland and I have one labeled GG1. So uh, if you want my data, uh, at me on Twitter, I'm Raging Levine. So come on down. My data is, these these data are free? I don't know, I'm not a word scientist. Brandon coming in with polluted oh. Delta. Interesting, a fetch being taken before uh, an OG duel. Yeah, so Brandon just making sure that uh, he can always get that swamp for Dark Confidant. Looks like he is interested in a blue-black strategy of some kind. You have all those? Okay, good. All right, so we have the same data. All right, you have seven more from teacher. Winnipeg and one more from Portland. At me on Twitter, I'm Raging Levine. Come on down. Send me your data. I love it. Force of Nick, is she just... Woo! What is she doing? I think she knows that everybody else has forgotten to counter-draft Tinker. And oh, so she's fair. just gonna keep letting it happen. Oh, well. oh now the now Mr. Rainforest is gone. And if she has to take transmute artifact, I'm sure she'll do it. Yeah. Force of negation. Of course, one of the new cards from Modern Horizons. Um very similar to Force of Will. Only counters non creature spells though. Does exile the spell. Oh, Cody, you can't do that. That's already gone. I'm I know you had you your pick locked you, in. You can't double draft. <laughs> Once again, it's just like any other draft, just having one of each card in there, but just like one a pack of 11,000 cards. Yep. No duplicates. So, Cody, with our first duplicate of the day, thank you. I'm excited to get the that data. Crunch some numbers. I love crunching those numbers. And also, kind of going back to that fantasy football analogy, I feel like the land, lands going off the board are kind of like when, you know, Defenses start going off the board. Everyone's just, oh, he's taking one. All right, well, what else is available? You know, it's one of those things that you're trying to keep in your board that, and all of a sudden you're just like, oh, well, these, I, this is one of those things I just need, so time time to start taking them. Arcane Savant does work because you drafted the cards, so there is uh, nothing in the rules that says that giraffe cannot play football here. Um, we have not started, started voting for the first interview yet, and as... As uh, Katerberg has displayed, the way to do that would be to type exclamation point interview and, uh, and then type the name of the player you want, want us to interview. And then when we, uh, when we go ahead and go to the booth after pack one, i.e. the first 15 picks for each player, we are going to uh, we're gonna interview that player, whoever gets the most votes. So make yeah. sure you vote for the person with the most exciting, interesting deck. Those names are not correct. Up, oh, yep. All right, so Mark needs to update that. Drafting and doing that and stuff. Very impressive. Yeah. Modern day renaissance, man. Just multitasking, <laughs> just like that. I personally want to talk to Kyle, though, and be like, all right, so first round fast one. Yeah. That was, I think that's definitely the most questionable pick of the draft so far. He did but show me his plan beforehand. He had a little little note notepad document up that he showed me, and I was very excited to see it, and I, I don't think I quite realized that it was going to result in the first pick fast bond. Uh, of course, I'm not here to not here to tell any of these players what to do. They're playing. Right. I'm not. Yeah, he seems pretty unabraded, though, by what his list is going with. He seems very much, all right, well... Yeah, he's know. on... Pl Ruffellos? Ru what? What is happening? Did... This is a huge U-turn for CJ. Oh, Crucible's gone to Kyle. Crucible for Kyle, as we might have expected, but Rafellos, Lanoir, Emissary, and Birds of Paradise for CJ. Coming off that Time Twister. So Rear maybe Mist not Tutor. Storm. What is going on? Maybe, I don't know. This just, is a strange oh, stompy, stompy value? I don't know. Does CJ just no. want to get interviewed? Maybe. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. All right, now, Tinker? Underground Sea, the first the the first dual land has been has been pulled out of the the pack. Karn the Great Creator. It's Karn. And Tinker is still on the board. 
This is like Ladanian Tomlinson is still on the board. It's 2009. <laughs> still out there. Still out there. Why? Somehow, yeah, Tinker, Tinker falling way down in the pick order. But Elaine taking Brandon the card, looking for another Skull way to clamp. combo her opponents out. Okay. Whoa. Skull Clamp. We were talking about this card recently. Skull Clamp, of course, well known, but let's pull it up here. So it just means Brandon is going to be looking to ex exploit that and draw some cards. Run them up, Excavator. Mike Viviano just taking the, the discount versions once again. Once again. For every strip mine, there is a Wasteland. For every Crucible, there is a Ramanap Excavator. Of course, Ramanap Excavator might be harder to destroy in this format that, than, uh, than Crucible of Worlds is because there's well, there's a lot more artifact hate flo floating around than there is uh, creature hate. Right, generally because a lot of the most powerful cards in this format are generally like artifacts. Mm -hmm. Like the things that just turn one. Yeah. Because that you're, was one thing I did see. It was just like, all right, well, I'm going to play Lotus, and then here's this Time Vault, and uh, well, I'm going to take anything that turns down with this Paul Key. Have a nice day. Yeah, there's, uh, there's plenty of... Of uh, ways to go off turn one, turn two. Artifacts are a lot more relevant to hit than creatures. So I think Ramanak Excavator in this format, and this format only maybe, might be better than Crucible. But it's hard to know. Right. One of the cards that I was thinking about uh, from Throne of Eldraine for this draft was Embereth Shieldbreaker. The, uh, the two one that goes on the adventure that destroys an, an artifact. I mean, obviously, that's just ingot chewer number 495. Right, right. But it's a pretty good ingot chewer. Yeah. Historically in VRD, have Thalia decks or RDW performed better? That is a good question. Um, I think Thalia decks have performed better, but that is my... I'm not looking at a spreadsheet of records right now, so it's hard for me to say. Yeah, I would see Hate Bears being like a... Thalia being like a better strategy... Just much, shutting a lot more things down. Red deck might be too slow, honestly. Yeah. I worry it's about that. It's weird to say that. Having Red N6 and Ramanap does seem pretty big, that's true. Volcanic Ants, Galding Tarn locked in for Cody Gunnett, so the first to match up a pair of Fetchland Dual Land. Veil of Summer. Hey, it's Veil of Summer, one of the strongest cards out of M20. I'm still surprised. I, I still remember seeing that, like, Six dollar uncommon, but just it's worth it. Wildly powerful card. The green one mana green cryptic command. Brandon, CJ, Cody, Cody, Elaine, John, Kyle, and Michael. That should uh, that should do it. That should be the right list of players. So again, if you have not voted and you you know a player that you'd like to see interviewed, or you're just want to ask a player, hey, John Morris, what's your plan for Yagmoth's will? For example, you might want to type exclamation point interview and then the player's name. And if the if the ninth seed bot doesn't know who you're voting for, don't worry. It'll provide that fantastic list of players just for you. Okay. Now, Tinker's got to go here. Dolly has been picked 11 times, 26-29. Goblin Guide has picked 9 times, record 28-18. So the red deck has clearly performed in a lot of VRDs outside of St. Louis because I know it has not really shown up here. Right, yeah, definitely not seeing a lot of... But, yeah, it's one of those... But, I don't know, it seems like a lot of red cards go a little bit later. The like Wheel of Fortune typically goes pretty early, I would assume. Mm, yeah, wheel, wheel would go... If somebody wanted Wheel, they might get it early. Yeah, Oko, we don't have any pick data for Oko yet. Because there's uh there there haven't been we haven't done it with Oko yet yeah. hasn't happened. Actually, someone was telling me in the last VRD they did here, Lightning Bolt didn't was never picked. Yeah, they did not they did not have Lightning Bolt. The Winnipeg drafts might have a really weird meta. Yeah, we'll find Thoughts, out. Thoughtsies. Thoughtsies, it's here. Yes, I typed in enough letters to get it nice. without clicking. All right. So there's Thoughtseize, of course. Brandon looking to to draw some cards with Dark Conthon and Skull Clamp and disrupt opponents with Thoughtseize. Let's see what else he wants to do. Still no sign of Tinker, which has to feel great for Elaine as she just continues to grab other valuable cards while everybody forgets about it. Right. 
Why don't you just troll everyone and be like, foil. Because, <laughs> because I can do it. A wart, right? A wart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Just take just take every weird freak outer spell yeah. before taking Tinker. Then we'd really want to interview Elaine. Yes. <laughs> she picks foil here. I'm sure she'll be the unanimous interview candidate. That'd be bold. That would be. I, I don't know. I would assume it's gotta go now. She's 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 smart enough to know when it when it needs to go. And it needs to go this round or next round. I would say. Yeah. But I also would have said that for round five, round six. So yeah, what do I true. know? I mean, who? I mean, who even? Well, that's I don't know. Looking at what everyone's drafting right now, who would even go for it? That's the thing. I don't think anybody else wants it. Yeah, I think I think the only person that would, only other person that would do it is that has the option is Brandon. Yeah. Seems like everyone else is starting to get more locked in. Oh, I could I could see CJ kind of taking it. He's still, yeah. but maybe. yeah, Brandon. The, nobody else has anything, that, any artifact that they really want to tutor up as bad as Elaine wants Timefall. Yeah, assuming she's sticking with the Timefall. Lots of table talk. What a surprise! Table talk during Elaine's pick. That's never has never table talk in general has never happened before. I'm so I'm shocked, shocked and dismayed. You people. You're table talking. Right. So what do we got here? Elaine taking a minute to figure out her pick. If it's not Tinker, what's it gonna be? Let's see. I don't know. I think she like I said, I think she still goes with like uh uh some more I don't know, I think she goes some more value stuff. Maybe she gets she tries to find a duel. Let's see, um I mean Tundra's still out there. If she wants to like splash white, maybe she wants to go with more of that, you know. Uh, being able to take path of ex um, paths and the swords of plowshares, being mm -hmm, able to mm -hmm. have that option available, just in case anyone starts building up, you know, like the light steel colossus strategy. Maybe she takes, yeah, maybe she's like trying to figure out a way to splice other colors. I also always say path of exile. Yeah, that's different. That's a different game. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yep. Picks have to be vintage legal. So no Shahrazad, no uh, demonic attorney. No contract from below. Right. In in the Chandelar version of this game, contract from... Frantic Search. Frantic Search. Not so much for that. Oh, but no. Meanwhile, John, yeah. John going with that flooded strand. Maybe he's going to be splicing. And Kyle locking in Sylvan Library, cementing his presence in green. wonder what that Embry is going to be for. Spell Pierce. Spell? Spell Pierce? All right. Cody looking to defend something. Okay. All right. I can see it. Yep. <laughs> she did pick a card from Hers' Legacy <laughs> for the same cost. Oh, God. I didn't uh, think about that. Karn, Karn liberated. liberated. So a ramp, more of a ramp strategy for CJ. And then Ulamog. Okay, yeah. Is there still a possibility of doing a show and tell, or at this point is it just, just kind of keep going? I mean... At this I point, feel like, just, if you, I feel like you either go ramp or show and tell. I guess show and tell kind of defeats the purpose of having the ramp, but. right? And the purpose of having the uh, the Karn liberated, not so good, yeah. not so good with him. But uh, Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger, CJ could try to upheaval people. That is certainly a possibility. Right. I would love to see some upheaval in this format. Yeah. Mystical dispute. Mystical uh, dispute is here. Zuranorb. Okay. Kyle taking yeah, the zero Kyle's, to go with Kyle's fast seeing pretty confident in the strategy right now. Comboing out with with fast. Another throwing right. a Veldrain card. Yup, mystical dispute, a fantastic card to win a counter war with, and a fantastic card to play in a blue dominated format. Format. Thank you, Skewbed, for the follow. We appreciate it. Thanks for showing up for early in the morning. I guess it's yeah, it's early for Sunday, right? It's nine fifty. Way too early for me. Usually oh, I'm look at this. Bad. The follows. Are flowing in. Thank you very yep. much. I, I, yeah, I think she's just gonna keep taking value cards like that. Yeah, I'll Since Elaine. Dividing top going off the board. All like right. I said, well, I don't see anyone else really going for it. Oko me daddy, thank you for following and making me say your name. Wow. <laughs> Rude. Right. <laughs> the word daddy is over. It's over. Agreed. Can't can't say it anymore. Thank you, Scone, Ops. for follow. Wow, we really got a train going here. Thank you, Scone, for the follow. Yeah, fo see, no, we can't. We can't ruin the word father. We can't stop ruining. We can't keep ruining the words 
for for dad then until gonna, they're all gone. Then we have to yeah, we we'll have to use them from other languages too. Right, and then those are gonna be. I mean, I'm I feel sure like Padres are already kind of ruined. The memers in other languages are probably ruining those words as we speak. Right, probably. we just don't know as as uncultured Americans. I think at one point I knew what the Mandarin term for father was. Baba. Yeah. Yeah. I remember like six words of Mandarin from when I was thirteen. Right. Oh, mind twist! Going up mind forward. twist! Look at that. So Brandon looking to attack the hand here in a big way. Yeah, I think I actually write better in Mandarin than I do in English <laughs> <laughs> because I take my time. Right. Yeah. I don't take my time in English. See, the, yeah, now it's already happening. Oh, it's already happening in our chat. Why did I say anything? Just, just bringing a curse upon myself. Maybe I'll just drink my mimosa. Yeah, that sounds like a good strategy. <sighs> Brandon taking that mind twist, twist, of course, trying to, uh, trying to find ways to disrupt all these very, very spooky game plans based around particular cards. And Brandon figures out well can't combo me out if you don't have a hand exactly when in doubt discard love it probably see probably see him taking inquisition yep. pretty soon cards um, like inquisition of kozilek duress and so on and so forth yep. are probably yeah. gonna imperial start. seal is still out there imperial seal is still out there wow yeah. that's true yeah we have vampiric we don't have imperial seal yet yeah the the, the classic sorcery version from portal three kingdoms yeah, I think that's that's it. I have all my second and third rounders that I had going. Yeah, Tinker and Tinker and Imperial Seal. Thanks for the follow. I I'm not gonna say your oh, name. Oh, show and tell. We tried. Didn't work. Is there a link with the full cube list? Yes. If you search for all vintage legal cards, you will find the the, the full list. There is no. Uh, there is no. There is no cube. It's just all vintage legal cards. Cogwork Librarian doesn't really work because there isn't a pack. I don't think we... I don't think... Arcane Savant works. That one, I believe, does not. Uh, Taiga. All right. Okay. More of the dual lands falling into place here. Mike looking to continue to make sure his Renan 6 is castable. So I'm still trying to... Does Cody take Tinker? Maybe. I mean, what does he... He'd want to take Tinker and then something to Tinker into. Yeah. Because right now he doesn't I mean, still have... still love options. Yeah. Oh, there's still plenty. There's... there's... Yeah, it would definitely... It's one of those things that would definitely like kind of shut down the lane a bit. If he just slammed Tinker Blightsteel here, he could uh, he yeah. could change paths. That's... Honestly, that's... Well, it's very easy to say in the, once again in the booth. Like, yeah, that's what I would do. We could rule that it worked, or we could rule that it doesn't. Which I think is currently I'd, where we're at. I think I'd probably, if I were in this drafting, I'd probably just be slamming my laptop into my head. Like, what do I do? <laughs> it's give so me weird. knowledge. Just like le resting my head on it. Just give me knowledge. Osmosis. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Help me, Scryfall. Help me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the old noggin ain't working. Yeah. You don't need to steal, slam, right, slam light steel. That's true. But sometimes it's about sending a message. That's very true. I, I do feel like actually slamming Blightsteel would be a mistake. There are so many targets. You don't need Blightsteel. You could get Darksteel. You could get Inkwell Leviathan. There's there's oh, plenty sneak of attack. Options. Sneak attack for Cody. Show and tell? What are we going to sneak? Attack, show and tell? A and classic. Uh, once again, someone probably not going to take a tinker. Sneak attack, Light Light Steel, Steel, Colossus. Sneak attack, okay. Steel. okay. So Cody looking, taking sort of a different angle on this, looking to cast some big artifacts, or maybe just sneak them right in. Light Steel Colossus, of course, that big 11 11 infect creature. They are to do something about that. Wooded, Wooded Foothills, Foothills for Mike, looking to recur that off Ren and Six and Ramana Excavator. One of our John's playing is besides just really good cards. Yeah, where would where I don't know where I would go in John's in John's seat right here. There's a lot of options. Yeah, I see. I, I oh, Lotus Petal being mm -hmm. taken. Another once again just more speed. But yeah, I figured honestly, I thought um, John was going to be the one going more the discard like Thoughtseize Mind Twist route. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. But he's uh he's fixing his banner right now. He's looking Definitely. to do something. Got a little Esper going on, it seems like. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I mean there are definitely a lot. There are definitely a lot of uh, good just mid range decks I was looking at that are out there were just like all right I'm just gonna take really good cards. This deck's not gonna be fast. There's gonna be no turn one combos. I'm just gonna draft really good things. Uh, as far as I know, we do not use snow basics. If you want snowlands, you gotta pick them. Uh, so Elaine snapping the Gitaxian Crow away from John. Once again, I think she's just very. Probably going to be able to take Tinker like round 20 or something. Elaine, by the way, our defending champion um, and has been in, I think, the top three of the other two uh, STL VRDs. So, so a lot of really good finishes for her. And the way she's drafting right now, that should not come as a surprise. All right. If I were to do this, I'd just be happy to win a game. I'm going to... I'm... I've, I've had moments where I've been a good limited player. For so, <laughs> some reason, I did good drafting Ixalan, but mm. that's about it. Oh, yep, In Inquisition off the board. Once again, John just taking good cards. Potentially looking to defend that Storm Control. strategy. Kyle Richter, Oracle of Moldiah. Let's see that. Oracle of Moldiah allowing you to play some extra lands uh, on each of your turns. And playing some lands off the top of your library. Very powerful. Allows you to churn through your library pretty quick. Especially with that fast bond. The top card of your library is a land. It's on the battlefield. Pretty strong. Especially in like a ramp lands format. Yeah. Snapcaster going off the board. No surprise. I made a questionable like tone in my voice when I said spell pierce. But actually I looked at my sheet and it's spell pierce usually goes pretty early. Spell pierce is great when you're... Early in the game, constrained on mana, which is a lot of when the important things in this format happen. Spell Pierce is a fantastic card. Courser coming in for CJ. CJ probably was looking for that Oracle of Moldiah. Yep. Tinker comes in round two on average. Yep, that is... Uh, <laughs> we're moving into well, round not here. 11. We're prime time. Crucifix and Primeval Titan. Let's see prime time up on the screen. Primeval Titan. Yeah, he's right on a queue. Just a fantastic card. Goes to get you any two lands. Not basics, any two lands. The cornerstone, of course, okay. of multiple decks. Days. Emrakul. Ooh, Kyle looking for a big ramp target, and he has found it in Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn. Oh, I can't spell. That's a hard one to spell. <laughs> Sometimes you leave a letter out and Scryfall punishes you. Here's Emrakul, the Aeon Storm. Of course, this is the 15 mana, 15, 15 version here to take an extra turn. Annihilator 6, protection from colored spells, all kinds. It can't be countered. Just a horrible otherworldly monstrosity here for Kyle. See, Duress going off the board. No, nope. John looking So now John to... going to that more discard route. Probably looking to protect whatever combo he's going for. Yeah. As somebody said, uh, uh, looks like a storm deck, and I, I do see that with Yogg Will. Um, the mana fixing, the tutors, the brainstorm. The ancestral makes a good start for that. Elaine did take that Gitaxian probe away, which is pretty good. That's an interesting stat for Spell Pierce, the second yeah. most match wins of all cards. Wow. Yeah, I pictured that. Can't wait to load these these other VRDs into my database and see what happens. It's gonna be. You know, yeah, fun, I can't fun imagine there the being beer. too many of these. These are pretty intense. Yeah. Big mana control. Mana combo storm question mark time vault whatever Brandon's deck is, uh, land or, or disruption question mark and big artifacts. Yeah, that's about my estimation of these archetypes so far. Don't forget that if you want us to interview one of these players, you should type exclamation point interview and their name into the chat. That way we know who we should interview when uh, pick 15 finishes. Cody's going tempo fish. Okay. 
that makes see that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. With the Oko, I can see that for sure. Galarian Academy. Oh. Galarian Academy. Now I drafted that in my Time Vault deck in STL VRD two, and uh, you know I didn't play it. No. No. Didn't. Turned out I didn't have enough uh, small artifacts to make it work. Right. Well, yeah, actually, well, I mean, doesn't seem like Elaine has too many small artifacts at the time right now either. Yeah, I was Top uh, and Soul Ring and Time Vault. Paradoxical outcome for Brandon. Wow. Right now I'm confused. Let's what? pull that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that do? It's gonna return car uh, permanence to his hand and let him draw cards for each one returned to his hand. An enormous storm enabler. So Brandon might have backdoored a storm deck here. It is and hard also, and to just say. drafting things that just build, you know, build his mana and also yeah. protect his combo. With skull clamp, lotus petal, and four kinds of moxin, Brandon may have just changed the entire draft by picking paradoxical outcome here, revealing his a cornerstone of his strategy. That's exciting. Oh, I, I guess that also Brandon now. Yeah, I guess that also eliminates my hate bears idea. Mike Painters. grabbing Painter's Servant, looking to move into some uh, two card combos here. Painter's Servant, of course, comboing with Grindstone to eliminate your opponent's library. <laughs> I just heard from the other room. Painter's Servant. Ooh. Yeah. I'm over here like, what? What is that? <laughs> Painter Servant lets you <laughs> lock lock in a color, and then every card is that color, no matter where it is. If <laughs> Cody takes Grindstone. <laughs> just take, here you just take, yeah, Grindstone and Helm of Awakening. Or, or Helm of, not Awakening, the other one. You know. The host? No, the one that goes with Leyline of the Void. Uh. Ancient Tomb and Walking Ballista. Ancient instead. Tomb okay. and Walking Ballista. Okay, so continuing on that big mana, big artifact. Helm of Obedience. Thank you, Hyphenated. Mike mm. completing the combo with Grindstone. Grindstone, of course, letting you keep milling. Uh, typing with one hand is hard while talking. Grindstone, of course, letting you keep milling as long as both cards milled were the same. Share a color. And that means with Painter Servant, well, they do. They always do. Oh, wow. Gamble would be pretty good for Mike. I feel like that would be a pretty solid tutor choice for him. Metal Worker. Metal Worker is an interesting call. I'm sure somebody's going to end up with that. Brandon, baby, probably, Cody, probably maybe. Elaine. Elaine, Elaine could, could, could try to run it. Uh, glacial chasm, yes, glacial chasm is fantastic with Ren and Six, just letting it go with the cumulative upkeep and then bringing it on back. So yeah, I'm just looking at this list and it seems like a, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where you put in these missing pieces with a lot of these cards now. I mean, Show and Tell being one of them, um, Stoneforge Mystic. Thalia, these these strategies kind of like put by the wayside, or yeah. you just see them being maybe brought up later as just like value cards. Yeah, a lot of those cards are, are niche cards. You're not really worried about somebody counterpicking you once strategies are locked in this way. Yeah. So if that's a card that you are looking for at this point, unless somebody decides to waste a pick counterpicking you, that uh, that'll probably that'll probably be fine. It'll still be there when you get there. Right, and I think that's just the the a key thing with drafting this it's yeah. being, finding it having a strategy is like being on a tightrope mm -hmm. whereas you know in most drafts i do it's like hey i have a two three flying vigilance and removal yeah and that's how i'm used to drafting I'm like <laughs> cool i feel good about this yeah if brandon takes tinker away from elaine that's another thing he could he could certainly do and then play bolas and citadel that would be a fantastic way to combo out Ooh, okay. So we're talking now about some of the uh, some of the prizes on the line here. Everybody brings a uh, 
some sort of consumable item, either a, a bottle of fancy alcohol, some, in, in this case, it looks like we have some nice Ooh, wow. cheese, uh, some fancy meats, lots of exciting things for the players to win. Ooh. Got some very nice scotch in there. Yeah. Aperol and Campari. Ooh, mm. Speaking my language. That, uh, ooh, that, that Glen Morangi sounds pretty good right yes. now. Yes, Woodland Reserve. Nice yes. one. Woodford, I always, uh, I, I, I fly a lot, and whenever I fly, I always try to make sure I get my drink order in early, because they run out of Woodford pretty fast. Yeah? Huh. Yeah. They only bring, like, I think the, the drink cart only has four bottles of Woodford on it. That's probably fair. Don't They're ask probably me. used to de degenerates like myself being like, give me a Jack and Coke. We don't have Jack. I don't know. Whatever's cheap. God. Yeah. Let but... me pop the Xanax and just leave me alone. <laughs> no, I don't want snacks. I don't want your water. Yeah. Just leave me alone. Don't, don't, don't wake me up. All right. Let me, let me just be a de broke degenerate here. We were, I remember being on a flight to a, a, a tournament, sitting next to a friend of mine, and... He and I each ordered a double double Woodford and ginger ale, and the flight attendant said, "All right, here you go." And we're out of Woodford, so that's how we know they only have yeah, four. Yeah. <laughs> so scrubland being picked up for Brandon here. Okay, makes sense. Looks like we need hey, to. Hey, sorry to interrupt y'all. Sorry, my binder's down there. Can you pass that? Oh, to me? absolutely. One sec. We're okay, gonna be giving great. away some sweet prizes to uh, viewers on stream here at some point. Oh my so. gosh, I had no idea. What? That's fantastic. That's we right. are Oprah. I didn't think we were Oprah. <laughs> you get a card. You get a card. So I'm gonna get you a list of cards, and then we'll still let you know when we're gonna be giving them out. But yeah. there's gonna be at least one, or Thank maybe you. two, during the draft, and then some other ones later as well. So, so we got giveaways coming up. So stick oh, nice. around. Keep watching. Everyone gets a lotus. Well, I wish. maybe a lotus blossom. <laughs> I'll take whatever that there. wild slash card is right now for Pioneer. Oh, yeah. Just, I'm just, just trying to build a Pioneer deck. Trying out some red in Pioneer? Yeah. I've heard I've heard good things about mono black. Yeah, yeah, mono black looks like it's the most fun. That's actually what I want to build, but I have none of the components, and that's like $300 away from me being able to build that, whereas I'm like $50 away from building a decent red deck. Hopefully I'll go with that, you know, Cinderella. I'm just going to get, you Example. know. One giveaway card. Ooh, that is a Judge Foil Monastery Mentor from the, the newest run of Judge Foils. Another giveaway card. Ooh, Ooh a Prismatic Geosco. <laughs> so let's Not all giveaways are equal. There's a range, <laughs> no. let's say. There's a range. Uh, that Monastery Mentor worth a couple bucks Cigarette. for sure. Yeah. Prismatic Geoscope, maybe a good coaster, maybe a good bookmark. Uh, maybe you could, you know, if you get locked out of your house, maybe you can try to pick your front door lock with it. All you good know, things. A lot of uses for prismatic yes. telescope. <laughs> you ever seen maybe. that in play? I don't think I, I don't have. Think I have. <laughs> it's not. It's not great. It tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So scrubland for Brandon. Looking to branch out into uh, white potentially. Not sure for what. <laughs> geoscopes. <laughs> if you want that geoscope signed, we will do it. I have a sharpie in my bag. Not afraid. Urza, Lord High Artist Artificer for Elaine. Another fantastic. Okay. Modernizes card. EA Walk Three. Thank you for the follow. Time spiral off the board. Oh, and one of the canopy lands from Horizons. Ooh. First one, Waterlog Grove. Waterlog the... Grove coming in. So Modern Horizons. Has made a pretty ba big impact on this format, as it has on, you know, all of them that where the cards are. Yeah, legal. where the cards are legal, exactly. Oh, what a set! I tried drafting that for the first time, uh, like when it just came out, and yeah, it was not fun. I, I pulled. I even got the. I even got a Yogmoth pick, uh, pack one, pick one. I was like, all right, well, this will be fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Yogmoth, sweet. Yeah, games I didn't play Yogmoth, I didn't win. That'll do it, yeah. Yeah. But I'm guessing... The rest of the deck was just garbage. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. I think I was playing, like, black, white, green, hot, heaping pile of garbage. Actually, no, no. I wouldn't have spiced three colors for Yagmoth. <laughs> so I'm just going to say I played black, white. That sounds reasonable. Trash. Yeah. I've been there. I had to draft that format a bunch because we did the... Uh... No, Academy's gone. Academy yep. is right above Urza Lord, High Artificer. Uh, in... <coughs> Pardon me, in Elaine's pick order. Um, yeah, I had to draft that a bunch. Uh, I had had to draft it yeah. for work because uh, I was uh, that was that was the Mythic Championship. 
that I that I had judged. That was the draft format. So that nice. was that was a uh, that was a fun one, right? Just, that was Barcelona. They all blend together at some point. Just seems like it just kind of teases you with what you want to do when drafting. It's like, do you want to play? Uh, what's there's there's that mechanic in it. Um, uh, um, where you're tr- uh, changeling. There's a yes, whole changeling yes, yes, mechanic yes, 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 to yes. it, and you're like, I could make you know an, an outside of the walls like sliver deck out of this or something like that, or right. some sort of tribal effect, and then. You know, you just don't. Sometimes you just don't really get there. Yeah, it's just, it sounds it, like fun, but you just, you just don't really get there sometimes. In those limited, those sort of on the rails limited formats, you don't always get what you're looking for. Genesis Wave. It looks like CJ is getting what he's looking for with two really strong X spells: Genesis Wave and Green Sun nice. Zenith. Green Sun, of course, letting you search up a creature, put it right onto the battlefield. Genesis Wave, a little more splashy, let's say. X green, green, green. Reveals your top X, puts any number of permanent cards with converted mana cost X or less onto the battlefield from those, and the rest go in your graveyard. So CJ is just looking to power out a big, big Rafelos, makes a big nonsense. Okay, so basically we're going to have him and Cody kind of fighting over fatties, it seems like. Mm. Well, and Kyle. Yes, Kyle, uh, Kyle may not need too many, though, you know. Yeah, good news is there's a lot of fads to choose from. My one of my underrated ones, though, uh, and it actually gets taken pretty late, is Terracidon. Mm, Terracidon I actually yes. played that in uh, Modern for a bit, too, just be- just because I was like, well, I think I can do this, and pretty effective. Yeah, Terracidon, uh, you know, you, you slam your Terracidon, you make some of your lands into elephants, you just go for it. Yeah. Lion's Eye Diamond for John, really uh, cementing that storm archetype. Mm-hmm. Lion's Eye Diamond, of course, the the uh, great value Black Lotus makes you discard your hand, but that's okay when you've got Infernal Tutor and you can use that to go get whatever it is you want. Right. There's also plenty of other ways. Someone tells me Brandon would have really liked to have that. Yeah, yeah, he might have wanted that just as a uh, another zero mana artifact, paradoxical outcome. Yeah, I wonder what he does next. I wonder if he tries another card to embed his strategy, or if he finds more mana fixers like Marsh Flats. He's. I wonder. Oh, not that. I wonder if the white in Brandon's deck is for effects like this. Wait, no, that's oh. no, not for yeah. equipment or vehicle. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not going to be it. Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong about this. Because that's only. That's other things. That won't work. Never mind. What's the white for? Maybe, like I said, like I said earlier, maybe to get you know paths and swords and mm, yeah, maybe yeah. arrest it. Maybe arrest in peace too for graveyard effects. Could be maybe some hate cards. Definitely, like a lot of great value white cards to thwart other people's strategies. Yes, yes, a lot of disruptive cards still out there. Even though Thoughtseize, Duress, and Inquisition are all gone, Teferi, Time Raveler. For Elaine and Brandon grabbing Thopter Foundry. Had to make some sort of sound effect when he took that. Pretty (laughs) proud. So Brandon looking to uh, maybe combo out with Sword of the Meek or maybe just generate some value. It's hard to know. Mike grabbing Pyroblast. Pyroblast. A premier red counter spell. Okay. Countering a lot of the great blue cards in the format. Yeah. Slightly superior That's very reasonable. to Red Elemental Blast because of the targeting restrictions. Arcbound Ravager. Okay, interesting. And Mystic Forge. This is a card that went pretty early in our last draft. Yeah, I'm going to need a reminder on what Mystic Forge is. Mystic Forge. Not Stoneforge Mystic, Mystic Forge. Uh, let's you look at your top card of your library, cast the top card of your library if it's an artifact or colorless non-land, and you can tap it and pay one life to exile your top card, dig a little deeper. So if you are in a heavy artifact strategy, you can use that to just fire off artifacts from the top of your library. Oh, okay. Pyroblast does work well with the Painter's Servant. Yes, if you are uh, painting the world blue, then Pyroblast just lets you destroy or counter whatever spell or permanent you might need to. Yeah. We 
We are coming up on that interview, so please make sure you type exclamation point interview and the name of the player that you'd like to see interviewed. Okay, I'm getting some notes. Da, 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 da. All right, so we've got some giveaways here. Fantastic. They're all labeled for me. So now I know um, how that's going to work. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, Mike in the tank on his pick. Hmm. What would you want here? This is an interesting Mike. spot for Mike. Yeah. I mean, like you said, I like the painter's servant opens up a whole lot of doors. Yeah, that's true. That's I'm true. not really sure what those doors are, but, you know. Could take, out. um... Now, painter's servant is one power, right? So... One power, three toughness. Yes. So that means if you really wanted to hinge your deck around painter servant, you might want Imperial Recruiter. Oh, yeah, good call. Go ahead and grab that. Could take the Reb. That's fair. That's a that's a fair point. If you're really if you're committing to Pyroblast this early, you might as well slam that red elemental blast before somebody else does, because that is a pretty po popular card in the in the middle rounds. Or of course. There's plenty of other things. Might grab another fetch land. Um, maybe something like Fabled Passage could go here, or or I guess just another fetch land that gets Taiga would probably be mm -hmm. better. Oh, yep. Red Elemental, Elemental Blast. Blast, yes. Just joined. Lots of green. There's a decent amount of green. Obviously Sword a lot of, of blue. Meek. Sword of the Meek. So Brandon's combo going unfettered here. Yep. Elaine taking either searcher in all caps. Let's pull that up for everybody. Aether, Searcher. I think any card she takes is going to be labeled not Tinker just from this point on. So Elaine taking the 7 mana 6-4. So the next card Elaine drafts is going to be the card that is chosen for Aether Searcher. And when Aether Searcher enters the battlefield, she can search her hand and or library with a card with a name noted by Aether Searcher, and then cast it for free. Uh, what? <laughs> what is this? Is this? Is this like Arcane Savant? Is this? Is she gonna go for for Biorhythm or something? What's gonna happen here? Yeah, she has she even splashed any other colors. Well, she's got that Prismatic Vista out there. She's got Teferi Time Reveler, and so lots she's... of card searching, and yeah, she has ways to stack her deck where. She, yeah, I guess you can worry about that later. All right, Natural Order and Eureka being taken. Ooh, CJ going for some... to Just putting stuff into play. Potentially denying Kyle that Eureka. He might have wanted that. Eureka, of course. Here we go. Oh, that new art sucks. Yeah, it's not the E equals MC squared yeah, art. Yeah, that art was great. What is this? Let's get Some the... hippie chick lost in the woods. <laughs> Let's get the better one. Here's the here's the good one. Yeah, yeah that here's awesome. the Kaya fol Folio art. Yeah, look there at we that. Go. E equals MC squared. I did it. It's Einstein the wizard. Nice. Even though the wording's probably way better on the new one. Oh yeah, don't try to read this. You'll hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, a couple other picks that are worth talking about. Let's see. High Tide for John. Obviously, keying into some sort of storm type strategy. Maybe using cards like Reset. Uh, yeah. No. We're we're we're. I have a lot of questions. We we want to ask questions. We're not gonna say. I'm not gonna suggest cards. We're not we're not gonna suggest cards. We would never do that. Uh, Tamio, Collector of Tales for Kyle Richter. Let's take a look at Tamio. That's the one from Spark, right? Yes, it's the one okay. that uh, that protects you from discard and sacrifice effects, making that uh, the combo deck a little more resilient. And of course, lets Kyle try to or, or return cards from his library or try to grab stuff from his top four if he names the right thing. You know, a lot of those, a lot of these planeswalkers from more of the Spark are so cheap. They're cheap. I was actually I, was, I bought like a a Karn for six dollars the other really? day. Really, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I see a lot of these cards going up in value. Like, this is a, just a pretty 
strong card. Oh, and now, uh wait. So <laughs> wait, Elaine is gonna either search her for Arcane Savant. What? What? I'm so I don't, confused. We're gonna have to ask her about that because she is clearly the interview. I think uh, she just wants votes. <laughs> what? Let me read Aether Searcher again. Aether Searcher, yes, the next card you draft. And so Arcane Savant, of course, may reveal this card from your deck and exile in this. Yeah, so. What? So they both have to be. So are you carding for the Aether Searcher to get uh, Arcane Savant? Oh. Hmm. That reminds me, I should probably uh, make the chat disappear when we when we get the players in here, so the chat doesn't oh, uh, yeah, yeah. doesn't doesn't tell them anything. So if you have questions you want us to ask Elaine, uh, tell us now, because otherwise, uh, I don't know, you're not going to get to ask them because I'm going to yeah. make the chat invisible. Because uh, I don't want that to happen. Because I'm pretty sure Elaine is our. What is she going to name? I don't with Arcane Savant. I don't know. We will ask her. Yeah, ask Elaine what she's doing. Yep. No, that's, that's certainly the plan. Yeah. So we're gonna ask her about Aether Searcher into Arcane Savant. We're gonna ask her what she wants with Arcane Savant. What the plan is? Oath of Nissa. Oh yeah, what she has our eyes on. That's Oath of Nissa for Mike Viviana. Let's take a look at that. Now, hang on. I did just see Cody. <laughs> Cody got a big Trax a scourge of Krug. What are we doing? Is that the... Oh, is that who I'm thinking of? It's the four Wait. mana one from Dominaria. Yeah. The, the four mana seven seven enters tapped. Whenever you cast a historic spell, untap it. It doesn't untap otherwise. Which, not really seeing a lot of historic spells there. Well, he's got... Let's Walking see, Ballista, one, two. Arcane oh, I, I take Forge, that back. Bethel. That's a lot. Of, yeah, he's that's got, a lot. He's of got some historic spells. We'll I, see. I, I keep forgetting historic also includes artifacts. Yeah, it's we historic. Historic is a weird. Okay, everybody just trying to get their really spicy meme picks in at the end, I guess, with Draxos. Yeah, I think Cody's. Uh, Cody could have. Um, Cody could have picked really anything there. He could have picked Draxos anytime he wanted, but he has Draxos now. So I think we're gonna interview Elaine. Uh, as far as I know, um, if some, uh, as far as I saw from the votes, so let's yeah, see if we can't get Elaine in here for an interview. I'm gonna power up with this uh, mighty mango, naked. Oh yeah! Didn't get my breakfast this morning. Hashtag Talk, sponsored. Hashtag right, ad. Right. We wish. Yeah. Naked juice, come at us. Yeah. We're ready. Hi. Hey, Hello. Elaine. Good, come here. Alrighty. So I knew I would win this. So far, it's two picks. <laughs> All, right, All right, let's get let's get Elaine in here. Yeah. Do you but want to do the interview, to... or should I do the interview? I think you should do the interview. Okay, no, okay. I will do it. If you want me to tell you what it is, I'm not telling. I'm, okay. I'm not telling. Don't don't no, look. Sir, don't do that. Don't look yet. I'm hiding chat. Okay, I've hidden chat, and uh, there you are, madam. Oh, oh, don't forget your peanut butter. Oh yeah. Just do it. <laughs> Gotta go with your crackers right. there. All right, let me get your name on here. Hi, I'm not Matt. That's, yes, that is why I want to fix it. Because <laughs> you're not Matt Wynn. You are Elaine. I'm just going to save it because they only see your first name anyway. Hey, we did it. Okay. Hey, Elaine, how's it going? It's going. So, uh, What's the mic? Oh, that's the mic? That's Holy the mic, shit. yeah. That's so fancy. Isn't that wild? It's, it yeah. got real fancy in here. It is. Uh, between last BRD and this one. I see that. So the <laughs> chat has some questions. Uh-huh. Uh, the first, uh, and I think maybe typed in all caps one, was... What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So, uh, between the last VRD and this one, um, mm -hmm. I got invited into Autumn Bochet's Discord server for oh, wow. author subs and stuff. Um, and they were doing a, like, legacy rotisserie draft. And one of their rules was, no draft matters cards. And I was like, hey, Mike, we forgot to make that rule. Mm. And he was like, that's never been a rule. <laughs> <laughs> so we could have been doing this all along, is what you're saying. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. oh well, in that case, I'm going to find a combo. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So originally it was just the Arcane Savant, but then mm -hmm. I got I got handed the artifact deck, and I figure, oh well, I'll have some synergy with that. My next pick is going to be Tinker, right. so I can Tinker for Arca for the Eighth of Searcher to get Arcane Savant to get my one card kill you combo, <laughs> and it's a one card combo. Uh, it's a one card combo because all you have to do is cast Tinker. Get Aether Searcher. Aether Searcher has named Arcane Savant, so Arcane Savant comes out and then casts whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to say what it is. Um, I think there may be some people in the chat who know what it is, because I, I've told them. It is possible but... that I may have floated an idea already uh, while while talking here that you know on stream that might be it, but I'm not going to say it now, in case it's it's not the same one you have. I have a couple ideas. Sure, yeah, I, I think there's a, there's a couple ways to do it, for sure. Um, so, so, so you're gonna, you're gonna take Tinker next. That's the plan. Yeah, I'm gonna take Tinker next. Okay, good. Yeah. Unless it's, one of them takes it, which I don't. You, that's what that's what you said. You brought it up. I wasn't gonna bring it up because nobody's typed that into the into the, the the document yet, and we've been through 15 rounds. How, yeah. Did you did you think? How did how did this happen? How did this happen? How did, how did Tinker go? How so late? Um. So nobody. At this table, I think once Tinker, except mm. me and maybe Curry. Sure. Um, what do you think he would Tinker for? I also think that people have been making questionable choices. Sure. Off yeah, this, I mean, that's, that's so always true, cast right? Bond uh, into <laughs> Force of Well with one of the blue card in your deck so far. Yeah, and, this format's uh, pretty hard. <laughs> um, which I'm a little salty about, because I did kind of want the Force, but the, fo but the Force I did take is also fine. I'm also floating a defense grid because mm. Jesus Christ, the second seed has like seventeen pieces of counter magic already. Yeah, That's Cody. Like, okay. Cody looks very ready to see. I want to be playing anything. that deck and not this deck, but I was hit at a time fault, so right. I guess I'm doing that. And uh, I, 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 I see you taking, you know, st sort of sticking to your your specialty here when when taking cards like Teferi Time Raveler. No, though. but look, look, it makes sense because all the blue players are to my left and all mm -hmm. the Artifact players are to my right, so when I'm going this way, I can take a blue card, and when I'm going this way, I can take an artifact card. <laughs> okay, so you've got a, a pretty good read on your on your draft strategy, not in, just in terms of, of the of down course, deck you want, I but... But got stolen. The lines that I mean got stolen. So. Yep, LED did get taken from you, which is which is unfortunate, but there's... I'm That's sure there's going to be other opportunities for you to find unfair things to do. You always seem to... I have not done unfair things up, to, up until this point. That's I true. Was, I was being the fun police, but <laughs> I guess I'm, I guess I'm playing this now. This deck I have no idea how to play, so I mean that's cool. Yeah, but Teferi was mostly because you know there's this uh there's this deck that like wants to counter on my shit. So Teferi, a great t defensive pick, yeah, against decks like Cody's. Um, yeah. Anything uh, anything else we sh we should be looking for out for in the draft here? Anything else you think? We should know as players seem to be heading back toward the table. Um, only that I'm really excited to show people what this Arcane Savant is getting. I can't wait to see what Arcane <laughs> Savant is getting. This is a really exciting deck. I, I've never been more excited to see somebody uh, cast a three-mana spell to get a seven-mana card to get a five-mana card to get something else. This is some some wild nonsense, Elaine. Yeah. So, cool. thanks very much. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Uh, good luck defending your title here. <laughs> oh, that's that's not happening. No, you don't okay, think so. Okay, well, who's who's gonna take it then? I don't like my chances when I'm third seed. I feel mm. like I'm gonna be in, uh, sorry, in the fifth seat. I think I'm gonna be maybe top four, but okay. What? But you I think, mean, most likely top four. But but you think maybe one of these 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 folks with the higher the 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 better pick order choice is gonna is gonna take it down. If I was handed one, two, three, or eight, I'd be like. Pretty certain, about but this. five five is not five is not there. a seat that I like. Well, you got time vault, so could yeah. be worse. Yeah. All right, yeah. Good cool. luck. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Oh, we will. We always do. And don't forget, folks, we do have these fantastic giveaways coming up. Wait, what? <laughs> you can't win. You're not. You're playing the draft. <laughs> I just wanted to say something when she's leaving the room. Now she wants the giveaway. Okay. Oh, I better not tell any of the other players about our giveaways. Yeah, okay, clearly, clearly, uh, clearly punted it there. All right. The inter our interview is over. Matt is back, so I'm going to fix his name. 
You are not Elaine. Elaine is just here. All right, and now you are you again. Awesome. That's backwards. How are the players feeling out there? Are they having fun? Yeah, yeah. They seem, every one of them's like, you're not going to be able to guess what I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Most bold prediction you've made so far. Very, very much classic VRD. Players yeah. taking this draft every which way. Really surprising us at every turn. Brandon is very convinced that he's a good wild card. He's just like, you're never going to predict a single card I'm about to pick. Really? Okay. Well, we Even called though them, you called a few of them. You called the Thoughtsies. That was good. I did, yeah. That's right, um, I did. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've gotten some of them, but I think if you ask me to pin down, I think we will see that Bolas the Citadel out of them. Ooh, let me, bring dra let me bring chat back. Hey, chat. You're back. And we are kicking this off with a Sphere of Resistance. Sphere of Resistance. So, Cody here trying to make things harder. So, a little hate bear action. Just trying to, you know, he, he figures he's got all this mana, other people don't. Why not make their lives harder? Right. Make all the spells cost just that little bit more. You know, we were running a little low on the orange juice out there, or that or there's more, and I just, you know, I don't like to snoop around other people's fridges. So I have now <laughs> combined the naked mango with uh, champagne. So now, I, or no, not champagne, but bubbly. So yeah, now I've made the most healthy mimosa ever. Look at that, the very healthy mimosa. And here is Once Upon a Time for Mike coming right out there the gate with these hot picks. Once Upon a Time, of course, one of the new cards from Throne of Eldraine, banned in standard legal here. Brain Freeze. Brandon picking up Brain Freeze as his storm kill. Captain Unpredictable back at it again. And Elaine... As she mentioned in her interview, she said it first before I did. She said she was going to take Tinker right away Tinker after the break. finally off the board. Tinker finally off the board. So she said in her interview that her plan is to cast Tinker to get our Aether Searcher. And then to use Aether Searcher's trigger to get our Cane Savant. And then use our Cane Savant to cast something. And she did not say what that would be. So Okay. Draft-sensitive cards are valid, but there are no packs. Yes. All righty. So, Mark, confirming what we believed already. So, the draft-sensitive the draft sensitive cards, the, the Draft Matters cards do work, as we've mentioned before, but there are no packs. So, you can't Cogwork Librarian. You can't Agent of Acquisitions and take all the remaining cards that are legal in Vintage. Yeah, that sounds a little rude. <laughs> Basic Lands, or Relentless Rats, or Shadowborn Apostle, or... Persistent Petitioners may be taken. Um, match ties are broken on game wins, and then via playoff games of all tied competitors in a best of one pre sideboarded game. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, I had forgotten to ask what the tiebreaker rules were, so that's good. We now actually have a playoff uh, in here. So if game wins are, if if game wins are still tied after match wins, then we have a playoff. Of course, the top four players will be taking home prizes between those bottles of delicious alcohol, the various meats, and that hunk of cheese that we were talking mm. about earlier. Good dollars with a blue cheese, that's strong. I'm so, I would, oof. I, I, I mean, I love scotch, but I would be very tempted, right? Yeah, oh my God. It was a good one. We, at, at Taste, we use uh, the smoked blue cheese, Rogue Smoky Blue. Ooh. I put it on our cheese board, and I throw it in so many different aspects of the cooking. It's that's just fantastic. It's just flavor well layered into itself. It mm. just does all the work for you. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, speaking of which, I have to remember to order that today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds important. Yes, chefs don't really get days off. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's, Constantly at it. <laughs> that's what I've always heard from my, my other friends in the in the restaurant industry, is that if you're a chef, you are you are busy. You're busy, busy, yeah. busy all the time. Yes. Ashiok Dream Render showing up for John. So once again, just taking good cards. Some very strong, a very strong planeswalker stops opponents from searching, and exiles graveyards, which can be really disruptive to uh, strategies that are dependent on particular cards. You might just knock one of their 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 combo pieces off the top of their deck, send it to the shadow realm where Ashiok lives, and right. that's it for you. Yeah. Might be rough for for Elaine if she were to lose. Uh, Eight of Searcher or Arcane Savant, for example. Yes, that's 
throw it down right away. Beast, Beast within. within. Yeah. Mm. Solid card. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's that's the round when I had it going. Just came the 15th from the round. Can Landry Discord man is the stream quiet? Are we are we low? Are we low audio? <clears throat> Do we need to pick it up? I I could be louder. I've been louder. The audio is fine. Okay. All right. Good. I thought so. Jiraga Tree Speaker. So another um, soul that ring. That levels up. Yes. Okay. So it's like a it's like soul ring, but kind of a creature. But you have to pay into it before it becomes soul ring. Mm. Okay. And a measly two hundred and fifty percent. Two hundred. Two hundred. Are you using? You using Winamp to watch us? What's letting you set your audio at 250%? Winamp, it kicks the llama's ass. Ah, <laughs> God. Oh, man. I hope Flashbacks. You have, I hope you have those sweet Winamp visualizations going on. Just that, like, all those those trippy fractals coming right, at you while right. we talk. Collector okay. for Kyle. You like hate bears, right? Yes. And, oh, yeah. Collector Oof? Yeah, that's a good one. It's a very hateful bear. Yes. Says good night to a lot of people. Oh yes. Stream is whisper quiet on your TV. Well, I'm I I, I did not intend to be the Toyota Prius of streams, right. so uh, we're. St- <laughs> All right, meanwhile, John, yep, taking more value. Cabal hey, ritual. it's Cabal Ritual following up his Dark Ritual from a couple packs ago. He is uh, really heading toward just barreling towards Tendrils of Agony here, looking for that big. Big turn, lots of spells, and then just drain you out. Brain freeze, of course, already gone to Brandon. So yes, do you think maybe uh, could Brandon also potentially take Tendrils of Agony? Does that not make sense? He could do it if he wanted to uh, make John's life a little harder. Although I yeah. don't think it's necessary. Hmm. Uh, looks like. All right, I've goosed the audio a little bit. It's a little bit higher. We're not going to clip, but. Uh, Unless, unless we shout. So we're not going to shout. No. We're not, we're not in a shouting. No shouting. Indoor voices. Yeah. We only, I only goosed it a little. Everybody no, should be fine. Mimosas and yeah. magic cards. And we're chill. Namaste. Sunday morning. No yelling. Yeah, no yelling. That's later. That's when they start playing. Let's get that, a heads up for the sake of beer jumps. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, we, we only goosed yes, a yes, little. Yes, chef. Got you. <laughs> you got it, boss. Shouldn't be too bad. Elaine thinking about what she wants to follow up Tinker with. There's a lot of options for her. Mm-hmm. Ponder and Preordain, both already gone, but cards like Serum Visions are still out there if she wants to smooth out her draws a little bit. Also, it, let, me go, let me take a double scan over this before I say this, but all. Voltaic hey, Key's still out there, right? Yeah, Voltaic Key's still out there now. There's there's plenty of options for her in terms of keys. Uh, the M20 Manifold Key is actually... Actually really gives Voltaic Key a run for its money because it's one to cast and one to activate, which means it's, uh, it's a little... It's, it's, it's pretty clean, whereas Voltaic... Is that... Same. It's the same deal, but it does not have the... Uh, the Target, target creature can't, can't be blocked. blocked this turn. So, yeah. Voltaic Key, Man of All... That Man is Full essentially key. a better Voltaic Key. Yep. Galvanic Key still out there. Voltaic Servant, Tezzeret the Seeker. Plenty of ways to untap Time Vault. You can't really... Uh, you can't really stop the Time Vault deck from getting a card that activates Time Vault. Right, it's well, just especially this possible. late, too. It's just like, who else is even going to want to take another key? Right. I they mean, don't... I'm looking at this board, and I can't really see that. Nobody else needs it for their deck, no. so it's just... It's she just can probably not... take it with her last... She can probably take all the keys with her last four picks and be just fine. Yeah, if she if she needs multiple keys, she can easily do that. I feel like uh, Tezzeret the Seeker is just a, a solid card that she... Probably want eventually. Yeah, that's true. Just because of its ability to both tutor up Time Vault and then untap it. Right, right. So, I don't know. She's probably going to go with... I don't know. What about... Uh, she said she was wanting to search for something. Yeah. Some keys. I mean... She said she has a couple ideas of her kill card for Arcane Savant. So, yeah. I bet we'll see that, like, 45th pick, right? Right. She'll just wait until her last pick and then take her kill card that nobody wants. So, she's probably... All right, so See the sign of the so going for one of those blue, fantastic blue artifact, artifact lands, yeah. yep. 
course, oh. a great way to tinker into a time vault or an Aether Searcher is just off a seed of the Synod that you nice. haven't paid and anything to play. Brandon just took one of my favorite Woo! cards, Phyrexian Altars. I have a Japanese one from Invasion. I'll probably never get rid of it, even though I should have probably gotten rid of it like before, <laughs> uh, you know... Ultimate Masters came out when it was worth like, you know, $60. Here's the real art, by the way, yeah. for us old school players. Yeah. But like black bordered and just Japanese letters. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite aesthetic cards. Like I said, probably should have gotten rid of it. Yeah, I mean, if but, you love it. Yeah, exactly. You get yeah, rid of yeah. It, right? Same. Brown artifact, best artifact. That Agreed. is absolutely right. Agreed. Arexian Altar, of course, going with uh, Brandon's many, many thopters. Yes. Letting him go crazy. Yes, there is a card you can fetch with Savant. Blink Savant giving you infinite Savants with haste on the same turn. That's cute. Burnt Catacombs for Mike. Another way to search up the Taiga. Woo! Foundry Inspector for Cody. Professor Xavier, thank you for hosting us. We appreciate it. And Cody taking Foundry Inspector to cheapen his artifacts, but also the Forge Master. Here to tutor up an artifact of your oh, choice as yeah. long as you feed it some other artifacts. It can sacrifice itself, don't forget. So if it needs to forge itself into something else, it can do that. Right. Like that, you know, Chalice of the Void, that'll probably be you know, worthless later in the game. All right, yeah, stack some that. Point. You just turn that into stack the game monolith. Process. I don't feel like I'm tapping. <laughs> Get rid of this uh, mana crypt because yeah. I'm low life. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, Lots of good options. Sack this arcbound ravager with a bunch of counters on it. There's all kinds of nonsense you can do with Kuldah the Forge Master yep. here. Walking bliss to get rid of all your counters. Ping things. Sack it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of. A lot of nonsense to be done. Sphere of Resistance. Yeah, there's, yeah, that tracks us. Yeah. Tons of good stuff. Interesting. Yeah, I like that. To see I like how that. Cody's I like it. That. Yeah, he's really, I think, uh, acquitting himself pretty well down here, having uh, having taken that that defensive uh, Dark Depths. Nurturing Peatland, another, uh, another canopy land off the board. Yes. The black green one, if I recall. So we've got the the yeah. the blue yeah, green one gone, the black green one gone. Was there a third one taken? I don't recall. Oh, the monastery mentor off the board. Ooh, a monastery mentor. Brandon's way of saying, please give me that foil one. <laughs> I'll yes, fight. I'll fight you for it. That's right. We have some sweet giveaways. Really. For example, I don't really need that coin. For example, monastery mentor. There it is. One of the new Judge Foils. Have you seen the new Judge Foil yet of this? I have not. It's very pretty. I like that. Yeah, it's good. For a card uh, restricted in vintage, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Heat Shimmer for the Savant is cute, most definitely. That is an adorable way to win. So Brandon obviously looking to play all his zero mana things. Uh, Paradox Gloutcomb, play them again, all with Monastery Mentor in play. And uh, just fire off some monks with prowess. Nice. Some strong. Is that announced um, to the players that draft manager cards work? Uh, no, in the same way that we don't, you know, we don't an announce other things that, that do work. We did not announce that. Uh, that might have given away a land strategy, and I'm not sure that would have been... The way to go. It's just no one no one had considered it. It was discussed last stream and before draft, but not explicitly. Okay. So I'm, I'm taking a quick look through this list, and I'm going to go through some other uh, you know, high-value cards that are on the board. Yeah. Um, looks like Liliana the Veil has not been taken. Um, I'm thinking, you know, probably John is my best best suitor. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that could I be. I think that would make the most sense right there, plugging that in. Um, Enlightened Tutor is still out, if I recall as Ooh, well. Ooh, yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Um, we've also got, let's see, Reanimate. Mm, yeah, no Reanimate strategy no. really really happening no, here. Yeah, no Entomb as well. Uh, no Wheel of Fortune. 
Yeah, nobody nobody going for that red draw seven. Um, there's here's one I'm about to mention that I would see probably going in like this next round. Asuza lost but seeking. Um, mm. more than likely CJ or Kyle, I would see taking that. Um, maybe Mike if it doesn't make it around to them. Elaine taking Dovin Hand of Control as a defensive measure, making oh, her okay. opponent's cards cost a little less. And then, oh, and okay, there's there's our first Entomb going. Entomb is here. All right. Is this ton done on paper or Magic Online? This is all done on paper. Uh, obviously, we don't have uh, one of every card in Magic just kicking around uh, the house here. So we've got uh, some clever workarounds for that, which you'll see uh, mostly involving, you know, a printer and a paper cutter. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty baller, though. Cody should probably take wheel. Yeah, that that's. I, uh, I think he makes the most sense. That or that actually no, Kyle too. I could see, like we were talking earlier about the whole windfall, mm, Brandon's yeah. windfall strategy. You know, wheel fits right into that. Yeah, I might. Uh, yeah, no, we we wouldn't need one of every card except for when people take things like Aether Searcher and just go wild on us, right? There's right, always just, something that we we wouldn't have. Plus, yeah. we don't necessarily just have moxes kicking around. Right. Could you imagine someone just being like trained org? And just be like, <laughs> you can go straight to hell. Are yeah. You why do you can go? Why? Why did you just do this to me? You can go down the road. Night. Right. Yeah. It's like. It's like, all right. Let me drive home real quick. There. There. Yeah. I I have these broke cards right here. There you go. Let me go. Let me go get a cursed centaur here. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, if you wanna if you wanna curate that card pool and send it on over to us, I can give you my PO box here in St. Louis. I'm sure we'd appreciate the the generous donation of your yeah, set of same. power. Uh, Hinterland Harbor for Kyle, just fixing that mana. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the uh, the Japanese arena foil basic lands with the guild symbols on those. Ooh. That's what I'm. Oh after. God, those are so nice. Mental misstep for Cody Owen. Yeah, but aren't those sweet? I remember back when those were like ten dollars, and I was like, "That's I'm not paying ten dollars for a stupid basic land <laughs> mistakes." Oops. Just like you know, Gaia's Cradle was only like thirty dollars back in the day too. We've oops. all. Oops. We've all made mistakes. My watch is telling me to stand up. Well, watch, prepare to be disappointed, because we're staying right here on this couch, not going anywhere. Speak the nail. Woohoo. Tooth and nail. Okay. Fantastic card. Go ahead and entwine that. Go ahead and grab two creatures from your library and just slam them on the battlefield. Also, probably a product of one of the worst standard formats. Oh, that I don't part of standard format. Troll aesthetic, tooth and nail. Then you would like switch your sideboard. You'd have like troll, like you know, this like very good mid range, and all of a sudden you switch into tooth and nail and throw in your fatties and yep. have no board hate, and that's all everyone played. The transformational Rude tooth and nail sideboard. Oh, I remember. Oh. Being able to smack your opponent with a bird turn three with a sword of fire and ice or ditty. My uh, I mean, you could slam one, or you could slam the two big creatures that win you the game right now, and I think that's what CJ is going for here. See, I see. So I see what you mean by the high cost on that, but at the same time, though, it's just like you said. Yeah, you're generating all that mana, so now you just—it's a search effect. It's just like a, you know, it's it's just a, a tutor. If you have the mana to pay for an Ulamog, you know, or a prime time, you're not that far off from a tooth and nail. Yep. Just being able to slam it down. It's just it's just like a really good green tutor. You Same with the wave about. and zenith, you know. It's just like you go waves and you go zenith. What else you got left? Tooth and nail. You you were talking about reanimate a minute ago, and now John Morris. What is this reanimate art? Get out of here. What? Oh, let me see that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's one. what was the other one? It's the ultimate masters one. Oh. What is that? It's, it's kind of it's like some like I don't know Stranger Things type of thing going on there. Okay, I see it. It, it kind of okay. I was playing Death Stranding like last well, night. The old like one this. though. The old one though. The OG. I like that. Yeah, this is this is I what like I'm looking that. at yeah, when I see yeah, reanimate. Yeah. What round should Arcane Spot be drafted in? Given that this text is three blue blue, kill your opponent basically. Uh, well, I mean, it depends, right? It's five mana, and 
you have to you have to draft whatever other piece of nonsense. Right, right. It's hard to say. Elaine taking defense grid, sh okay. following up the Dovin. Ooh, you know another card that hasn't been taken? Uh, and the Turok. Mm, yeah, no him yet. The other nonsense can be 45th, it's true. So yeah, it, 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 might, it might need to go pretty early. Let's see, Survival of the Fittest is still out there. Yeah, no Survival deck so far this time. Deathrite Shaman. One last time. Deathrite Shaman. Deathrite Shaman is, uh, is a little harder to make work in this format just because you might have a fetch land. Your opponent might have a fetch land. Oh, so that right, okay, a little, that makes sense. A little tougher, but... It does. It does exile stuff from the graveyard. Can be relevant. Yeah. Yeah. There are multiple functional pieces that go with uh, arcane savant that literally no one else would ever be interested in. The table would have to spend an entire round just drafting cards to hate out your savant, and inevitably they'd miss one. Ooh, I am going to make a prediction though. From senior unpredictable, Brandon takes bitter blossom. Bitter blossom here. Okay, I like it. I think that goes well with his skull clamp. You're not going to predict a single thing I'm doing. Oh, uh, it's Pentad well, Prism. Actually, that is another thing that I was going to take, too. Pentad Prism, of course, lets I you store up some mana for later. Yeah. Because I was just thinking to myself, I was looking at all these other, you know, other cheap artifact ramp builds, and that was another. That was one that came up. I was yeah. like, I can see him taking that. Well, it's mana neutral, which makes yeah. it really go really well with Paradoxical Outcome. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, and his Storm Spells. A shout-out to John Morris in the chat. John Morris having just taken Entomb and Reanimate as maybe a sideline plan to Storm. It is hard to say exactly what his plan is. Hello, was. Kyle. Look at that. Matt getting a shout-out on the stream. Yeah. Um, also, no land destructions taken so far. No. Nope. are safe if you want to tap in. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, outside of Strip Mine and Wasteland. If you, oh, yeah, I guess if, that counts. If, Whoops. Uh, <laughs> But at least his stuff is, is you know, his uh, his uh, Howl of Fountains aren't about to get molten rained. Yeah, your Howl of Fountains <laughs> are safe, Kyle. Yeah. Come on down. Bring your control deck. Yep. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't die when the counters are gone, unlike something like Walking Ballista, which uh, which runs out of counters and, and uh, time on this earth sort of at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, what's up, Alec? Alec was here last time. Engineer Explosives. Engineered explosives coming up from Mike, looking to heat some stuff out. Mm hmm A lot of things, actually, right now. Yeah. Yeah, looking for... Actually, yeah. Good night, Brandon. Now, hang on. Chief of the Foundry? That's the... Yep. The art other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Okay. Why? Why does... I don't know. Why do you want this? Is there, okay, maybe there's some wild thing you can do by making your zero zeros like Arcbound Ravager and Ballista not die when they are out of counters? I'm maybe not sure. that's it. Lodestone Golem. Yes, Lodestone Golem. That's a good one. Imposing more taxes on these non-artifact yeah. spells. Artifact, yeah. That's pretty. Lightning Bolt, hey! Hey, Lightning Bolt did not show up last time. Here in round 20, Mike Viviano looking to take out Dark Confidants, maybe nip at the heels of some Planeswalkers, kill some, you know, bolt CJ's birds, things like that. Yep, Library of Alexandria, there we go. <laughs> Brandon, very excited about his Library of Alexandria. Love it. Brandon going to be filling up his hand with cards like Skullclamp, Paradox, Outcome, and so on. So even if he doesn't get the library going in the early game, it could still be useful in the mid game. Right, right. And then Elaine. Elaine probably looking to take more cards to protect her combo. Is Mana Vault still out there? It is. Oh my gosh. Mana Vault is still out there. There's more. There's there's fast mana. I mean, take that. Just what I would think. here for the taking. John has wait, a ramp, wait. No, oh, yeah, no, sorry. No. Yeah, it was picked. Whoops. So all the fat, yeah. the fast man is gone, as we were okay. saying. Oh, oh, wait. oh. oh what's that? Thalia. Thada Atel Acquisitor okay. here from Worldwake uh, goes and, and basically briberies you for an artifact if it hits you. Or I guess the, the spell acquire is bribery for artifacts. So. Oh. You were talking about Mirrodin. You might remember acquire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, this just whenever it's an island walk two two. Whenever it hits you, it does that. It's pretty wild. Uh, let's see. Exhume for John. Mangle sure. horn. That's a lot of hate going Mangle there. Horn. Exhume. Yep. All right. So John's. Oh. Yeah, he's so all John just went from like value town to reanimate. Like yeah, that. just just in the storm in the storm mode, you do have to pay for it. That's true, but it still takes it out of their deck, which is very important. Manglehorn does not look does not appear. Chromox has been taken. No, no Chromox yet. Brandon could still snap up yeah. Chromox. Among many other zero mana okay. artifacts. Reclamation Sage, Harmonize. Yep, some artifacts. Harmonize, that's real. Harmonize is the two green green. It's concentrate, but it's green. Just draw three. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So CJ looking to back up his his ramp with a little bit of a little bit of draw. Manglehorn, yes, a fantastic card uh, against against people who are playing artifacts. Uh, sorry, that comes in tapped. Force of Vigor. Woo! Force of Vigor. Kyle ready to hate those... Or Cody ready to hate those artifacts. Kyle yeah. taking Ratchet Bomb. To just hate on everything else. Yeah, just just blow up the small stuff. Yeah. Great at just clearing Once the board. Again, those of zeros. Engineered Explosives is gone. Might as well go with that. Grizzle Brand. Yeah, okay. So John's going like pedal the metal on... It's time to reanimate. Yep, I it's mean, happening. Smart though, didn't go into his strategy until the next round. Yeah, got like all that value stuff to protect. Yep. Yeah, lots of lots of mana tutors draw, draw seven lion's eye diamond to pitch your hand. Venerated uh, Luxodon. is that the convoke one? Yeah, that's the convoke from, one. Uh, um, the the new Gilt. Ravnica. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't think it we're gonna see not. that. Not a lot of. Yeah. I think, I think somebody might be thinking of a different card because I don't see that being picked in this draft. But anything can happen. It's VRD. Yeah, I don't see a show and tell happening. Yeah, it's maybe. It's, uh, I mean, maybe like a late. CJ could do it, right? CJ's got uh, a couple of blue cards, Birds of Paradise as well, but the, got the Time Twister, got the Preordained Ponder, Mystical Tutor. Could be running a little bit of a blue splash. Might not be entirely mono green. And of course, we do have that interview coming up after pick or pack thirty. Um, so please make sure to type exclamation point interview and then the name of the player you want interviewed in the chat. We have, of course, already interviewed Elaine. So uh, you know we would we we're probably going to interview somebody besides Elaine unless I don't know. <laughs> right. Everybody votes for Elaine again. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Might have to battle the bullet I'll, people. I think Brandon would make for a very entertaining interview. I think it'd be great to talk to if Brandon. If so, dibs. I want to interview him. Yeah. No, I think uh, <laughs> you, should, you can do the next one. I'll okay, go refill cool. my mimosa. Got you. Yeah. Ooh, we should clear the uh, uh, clear the, the vote. Or should we not? No, we should leave the, the other votes alive that way the people who were voted for last time will just instead of elaine we'll just yeah. whoever's next mishra's bauble for elaine okay brandon might have wanted that mm -hmm. let's you uh draw a card for the low low cost of zero mana but you don't get it until your opponent's turn or the next turn the slow trip oh, he took the other bobble brandon taking the old version Nice little jab. Yep. Let's you look a card at random in the opponent in in a player's hand, and you draw you still draw the card with the same timing. So which of these two takes the war of invention? If you're wanting an interesting video interview, go with Cody. He can't publicly speak without saying something ridiculous. All right, chat. Let's okay. see if we can make if if that's what you want. Oh, Brandon. I think that would yeah. I think that would be a good interview. Altar of the Brood. Going off oh, with the mill. One. So yeah. with paradoxical outcome, you play play out your zeros with the altar, mill your opponent, and then you pick them up, you play them again, mill them some more. Of course, works with Thopter Foundry as well because you are generating lots and lots of little Thopters. So Thopter Foundry, Sword of the Meek, 
and uh, and Phyrexian Altar, that would and Altar of the Brood. Well, that's a four card combo, and that's what VRD is all about. Is nonsense, I guess. Yes. Glacial Chasm for Mike. We were talking about that one earlier. Yeah. Where do you think Cody's gonna go here? Got any got any sweet artifact big artifacts left on your on your your list that aren't aren't um, taken yet? Let me double check. Is is Bizarre Baghdad been taken? I haven't seen Bizarre. I don't yet. think I have. Okay. That's not a big artifact, but that's just a really 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 awesome card that hasn't been taken yet. That'd be a good one. Brandon, um, yes, still trying to make Altar of the Brood work, just like last time. Yeah. Man. So uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing too many uh, too many big artifacts in these like these mid rounds. That, mm. but there's things like Dak Faden that goes, you know. Ooh, Dak Faden. That sees, you know, he's got the red blue for it. That would make sense. Um, hmm. I see some uh, Warren Power Stone. He might take cards like Tangle Wire. Oh like yeah. Oh, I, gotta, I love Tangle Wire. I gotta roll the, the chat the uh, yeah. picks down a little bit. Okay, Hangerback Walker. Trinosphere. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one two punch right there. Alright, Hangerback Walker and Trinosphere. So uh Cody looking to go the classic workshop deck route. Three ball here to make your spells. Maze of Ith. Oh, okay. So Mike looking to make combat just not a thing. Maybe feeling the pressure from Cody Gunnett. Bitter ordeal. It's here. Not really sure what that does. It's the Gravestorm card that uh, lets you search your opponent's library for a card and exile it uh, for. Uh, once plus once more for each permanent put into a graveyard this turn. Yeah. It's a wacky card, but very, very good with if, uh, if Brand again, if Brandon is going off with uh, Thopter Sword, uh, if Brandon is sacrificing things, mm -hmm. there's lots of ways to, to make it happen. Of course, it does care about permanents going into the graveyard, so it won't work with Altar of the Brood. All right. Oh, there's Manifold Key. That's the key. Yep. Yep, she's well, got it. Works it. good with that. Uh, that uh, what is it? Uh, Thada. Yep, makes yep. sense. It let gets the Thada in. Obviously, works with the Time Vault. Um, early key pick. Yeah, not sure. That is a that is a departure from Elaine's very disciplined dra disciplined drafting so far. But yeah. maybe she just feels really safe. I don't know. Animate dead for John. Scavenging news. Very nice. Uh, yeah, it's uh. The, well, the reminder text says permanent, not permanent card. So I would, I would believe it works. But we can. That is oh, shouldn't scroll that. That oh, is something we vapor. can check. Yes. Chain of vapor. Ooh, look at that. And then, uh, wow. Some full hate with a choke there. Choke a fantastic card to to keep your islands tapped. Chain of vapor. What is this? Let's see. We got Commander one, two, three, four. We got five people that would potentially be playing blue source. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot Pretty of people strong. feeling the heat from the choke there. Plow under. under. Yes. yes. Another <laughs> card I love. What a beautiful card. Just take two of your lands, drop them on top yeah. of your library, really I, slow you down. I, yeah, and, I, and type... Type 2, back mm. early to, I played a green-black with Eternal Witness and Oversold Cemetery, oh, Plow yes. Under, Death Cloud. Oh, that was the most fun deck I ever played. Noxious Revival for Cody Owen. The new Nissa for Kyle Richter. And here she is, of course, making your forests add double green and animating your lands into three Threes. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure CJ will scoop up some mana dorks later. Lanowar Elves, Elvish Mystic, etc., etc., all still available. Elves of Deep Shadow and other other worse ones still available if right. you want to go deep. <laughs> but Lanowar Elves, Elvish Mystic, both still around. 
Shattering spree and fracturing gusts. Yeah, you you take them pretty late. Um, cards like that, shatter storm. All the all the various pieces of artifact hate do get taken. Yeah, no, there's there should be a lot more competition in an ideal world. Um, ideal, I say, in a in a a more a saner world, perhaps for for dual lands, fetch lands, etc. There's 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 better mana available to these players that they are not they're not taking each other to task they're not punishing each mm -hmm. other for that let's see I wonder if John does John take the lily here mm, could be that'd be a I sweet mean, one he's in got, this reanimate deck yeah he's got all the reanimate so a little more disruption could be I good. think so I think now is when you yeah yeah because he's got reanimate animate dead at the same soon. time though I don't I don't see I don't see that's the thing a lot of these Players are just kind of in their own lanes. Bloodstained yeah, Blood Mire. That's a smart pick. He's, yeah. he's doing exactly what yeah, we were just talking true. about. He does need to do John that. John Morris, can you hear us? <laughs> yeah, right. Random no, walker, thank you. Everyone's just kind of in their own lanes at this point. I think, honestly, I don't really see who's competing with him for a Lily, so he can just wait. Yeah. Just like with, with Elaine, you know, at that point, no one's competing for a Tinker. Let's just wait on it. Absolutely. You know? Although, I'm just, Transmute Artifact hasn't been taken. Yeah. Do you take that here? I, would, I think you would, or well, but once again, who's gonna like? Who's really gonna com compete with you for it? Tran yeah, transmute artifact. I don't think anybody is really hyped about. Right? We haven't right. seen a single shock land taken, which is weird because we've seen uh, we've seen what uh, botanical sanctum, and yeah. then we've also seen. Um, oh yeah, I'm surprised breeding pool. Oh, there is a breeding pool. He has uh, okay. Kyle has breeding pool okay. thirteen. That's the only one. Yeah. That's why he took botanical sanctum. I mean, yeah, watery or grave. Cody did. How's it going, everybody in chat? Don't forget, like I said before, if you want somebody interviewed, type exclamation point interview and their first name, and then we will maybe see them in the booth a uh, little bit after this. Oh, is that is that the the cube champion from SCG Con? Very nice. That was a cool tournament. I, I I heard a lot of good things about that event. I was unfortunately not at SCG Con because I had just gone to three events in a row, but Fair. <laughs> Hoping to be there over the summer, but we'll see. You got linked on Twitter. Nice, yeah. No folks, if you're enjoying the stream, if if you're having fun, we are we would love if you would uh Share with your friends, tweet it out, retweet, uh, Instagram, Snap, tick, TikTok. What what do, what do people do? I'm old. I, I'm I'm old too. I don't know. <laughs> I'm 35. What social media? Yeah, right. <laughs> Instagram. Oh yeah, Tundra's still out there. Good good point. T is Tundra Snap really talk. still out there? Oh my god. Yeah, Tundra is. Holy I had crap. a because I thought uh, John was gonna take it a while back, and he never did. Yeah. MySpace, yeah. If we're in your top eight on MySpace, make sure to make sure to uh, band camp us. Yeah, <laughs> scoots, scoots Tom on out of there. Come on, Tom doesn't need to be in your top eight. There is usually a little a little land rush in the middle of the draft. It does come earlier usually than this. Yeah, like I said, it's like when defenses start going in fantasy football. Yeah. Like, All right, well I gotta take one. Otherwise, I'm gonna be left with you know the Lions. <laughs> Elaine taking were of invention, but being a okay. little goofy about it. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah, that's why I was saying, like, who takes it, Elaine or Brandon? So, Elaine. Tell us what's going on with this cube. So, the essence of the soul of this cube is that this cube includes... is not a cube. It's just one of every vintage legal card, and it sort of exists in the aether, right? It's more like a circle. Yeah, it's much much like time. It is a flat circle, and it contains everything you might want it to contain, except for cards that aren't legal and vintage. All right. Second shock, water grave being taken. The land, the land rush may be on here. Yeah, gamble. Oh, you called ah, it. Oh, we were talking. Chat was chat turned me on to gamble oh, for Mike. Okay. Actually, yeah. yeah. Somebody in chat. I'm not sure who it was anymore. Maybe it was uh, Sir Thibault. Whoever it was, just feel free to come forward. Flex. Yes, that I was, was right. You. So gamble Sir the bow for the call. Very nice call, friend. 
Cody about to choose Exodia. Well, you got to get the left arm and the right arm and all the parts. That's like five picks. Do you really want to spend five picks on Exodia? Does that seem... I mean, at this point, why not? Steel, oh, that's what it was. Steel Overseer. Okay, was... so Steel Overseer. I can't tell if Cody wants to go wide or go big. What about... Uh, I'm not yeah. sure Cody knows either. It's almost like... Oh. Yeah. I don't know. At this point, it can kind of go either or. Right. If if somebody leaves that right leg open, if they've taken four four pieces, you're just like, all right, I'm I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take one for the table, take this right leg, make it make it not happen. Dak Fade. Hey, you called it. Hey. Very nice. Yeah, Dak Fade and a fantastic pickup for Cody Gunnett. Okay. Then look. Realms Uncharted. Okay, I need to pull that one up. Yeah, Even though what Dak Fade and the great greatest thief in the multiverse does. Although Oko might be the greatest thief in the multiverse now. Realms Uncharted. It's gifts ungiven, but for lands only. Oh, okay. Oh, Hercules Recall off the board. It is possible to scroll the spreadsheet up, but then we'd be covering part of the spreadsheet. Uh, there is only so much real estate on the screen. Of course, if you type exclamation point draft, you can see the whole draft spreadsheet on your own computer by clicking that big, long Google Docs link. Uh, pack one, pick one was... Uh, Black Lotus, and you had another question, but it scrolled by in the chat, and now it's gone. So, to answer your question, I don't know what you said. Ah, uh, you can't take Urza's Bobble. Hang on, hang on, that's mm -hmm. been taken. Stop. Yeah, who took it? Was it Brandon? Yeah, Brandon took it. No, 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 no wait. wait. No, it looks like he Stop. changed his pick. He changed his wait, pick what? to Alter the Brood. Oh, oh, that yeah, was a goof. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Caught it. Okay, very nice. Let's I was see. like, What? Okay, Thirst for Knowledge, Opt, Denser, yes. Shaper, Savant. That's the, the two blue blue one from Future Sight, right? That bounces a spell or permanent. Yep. There it is. Oh, okay. CJ, what is CJ going to follow up Plow Under with here? Plow Under, obviously, a card that, that you and I really like. Yeah, CJ's doing things that, yeah... Yeah, that's a deck that I would like to play, actually. That looks like looks fun. Like fun. That's, like, yeah. more my style. Yeah, you're... I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, I can't... I don't think I'd have fun playing any of these decks. But, all right, Garrick Primal Hunter. Wow, Garrick Primal Hunter. That's the five-mana Garrick. Plus to and create a beast. Garrick Wild Speed. Okay, yeah. All right. Just... Looks like Garrick Tribal for CJ. Yeah. Uh, what's Wild Speaker's the six mana one, right? Wild Speaker's the four mana oh, okay. Lorwyn one. Yes. Well, there's the Xbox promo version. Great. Mystic Thanks, Snake. <gasps> Mystic Snake, of course, showing up here. Mystic Snake. All right. Now I'm going back to my apocalypse days. Mystic Snake. If you if you know Frilled Mystic, you you know Mystic Snake, but with a slightly more restrictive cost. Stone Coil Serpent. Baz are finally off the board. Bizarre yes for John. Looking to discard some cards. CJ's deck seems lower power than the other cards, than the other decks. I tend to agree. Elaine taking that blue black. I believe the talisman of progress is blue yep, black, black talisman. Yep, you're right. Uh, Stone Coil Serpent for Kyle. Kyle wanting to just make a big X. X, well, I guess zero zero with X one one counters on it, and protection for multicolored, protection for multicolored, pretty, uh, pretty powerful in other formats. Not as powerful here when we have access to a lot of powerful monocolored cards. Urborg, okay, there it is. Okay, so Brandon, another card I was wondering if people were gonna take. Brandon with the Hercules recall and then taking the Urborg. Well, hang on, Mike just drafted Mana Bond. Hmm. Mana Bond, if you're not familiar. Let's you reveal your hand, put all the land cards from it onto the battlefield, and then discard the rest. Oh, progress is blue white. Oh, dominance is blue black. Then CJ could have picked choke forty fifth. Strongly agree. Yeah, mana bond. If your hand is just land, land, and more land, or land, land, and uh, uh, life from the loam, it's pretty right. good to discard your hand. Yep. Does Mike have depths? No, mm -hmm. Cody. Mike took, uh, what's it called? Um, Thespian Stage. Yeah, Thespian Stage. Cody yeah. sniped the depths from him. 
surprised to see Opt before cards like Serum Visions as well. And but. someone took a brainstorm, right? Someone had brainstorm went pretty early. Okay, yeah, good. brainstorm's right. gone. I was just thinking about that. Those other cantrips that are still available. What land-based wind counts are there besides depths? Mazes end. <laughs> yeah. Valakut. Field of the Dead, maybe. Ooh, Field of the Dead. A card we did not see in the last BRD, but could show up. Here. I think so. I think either Mike or I could see either Mike or uh, Kyle taking it. That could happen. I'd love to see Field of the Dead out here. Uh, maybe that's why he went into Painterstone to have a way to win the game. That's very yeah. possible. Reshape, Reshape for Cody. Interesting Ooh, pick with Transmute Artifact still out there. Yeah. Or, yeah, that's right. It is like a... Because Reshape lets you search for X or less, so you have to pay X blue blue, whereas Transmute Artifact is basically X blue blue, but lets you use the cost of the artifact that you sacrificed as a discount. So that's uh, that's actually a mistake I made in VRD2, I believe. I took Reshape when uh, when Transmute Artifact was available. So Rixie Invoker, a nice little, another nice little artifact hate bear. Yep. I do love the uh, the hate suite that Cody is putting together. Yeah. Nissa Vital Force. Well, there's a land win con. And no one's really messing with Thalia. Yeah, no, nobody really in the white creature department. No, no, uh, yeah, no white removal spells yet either. Haven't seen a swords, haven't seen a path. None of that showing up here. Speaking of swords, no uh, equipment swords either. Mm, that's true. No, no equipment, nothing like that. Nobody's really trying to... Uh, to make progress with small creatures on the battlefield. Everybody's trying to do something big or, well, stop you from doing what you're doing. Right. Brandon, of course, on this single-minded combo plan. Him to Turok. You mentioned that card. Mm -hmm. Has there not shown up yet, and here it is. The player with the uh, the Mind Twist also picking up the him. Yep. No, not this one. There's him to Turok. I think it's my favorite art. I love it. <laughs> it's the most bro -y art out there. It's so Alpha Wolf. It's just, yeah, it's like... Alpha like, Wolf makes you discard two cards at random. It's like wearing those three Wolf Moon shirts. Yeah, it's the right. same kind of thing. If you play him to Turok... Shatter to make you discard. <laughs> As is tradition. Oh, oh we hi. have to show the pizza. The oh, pizza God. barely fits it's through huge. the door. It's terrifying. It's big. Okay. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is wrong. This is the, uh, what is this? The, the Pointersaurus? Is that what it's called? Oh my god. What a wild pizza. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's literally about as large as the door. I don't know. How, how are you going to close the... This is his arm long enough? Can he do it? I got your back. He closed the door! Ow. Uh oh. I. That wasn't the noise I, I wanted really to hear. I'm so scared for the pizza. Uh, yeah. Also for Mark, but yeah. mostly the pizza. Don't tell Mark. Tezzeret the Seeker for Elaine. <laughs> because that's just how we roll. Why? You know uh, what? Just like. Why would you order several small pizzas? Lily of the Veil. Oh, yes. Nice call. Wait, what? Yes, you're right. That'd be boring. Thank you. Howling Serpapard, a 4 3 uncounterable. Here's. Here's everyone's favorite cat snake. Yep. Uh, Creatures you control can't be countered. I don't think I would have taken Prowling Serp. Like, there's a lot of cards that yeah, Kyle right? could have taken. I think that could have been taken any later. Time. Yeah. Kyle's very focused on his plan. Everybody's in their lane. CJ taking acidic slime. Which You're I live streaming coming from giant pizza and eight people who suffer from lactose intolerance. No, we are not, no, <laughs> not streaming the bathroom. It's not happening. Ugh. Can't have it. Voracious Hydra. Pioneer staple. Acidic slime. Yeah. Like I, like I said, I like this. Yeah. I'm just going to draft things that blow other things up. Brazen Borrower was one of the... Fatties. Yeah. I actually really like God. All right, if really I do, like this, if I do that? this, that's my style. Yeah, I'm doing this. We gotta get you in here so you can draft this big green deck sometime. Right? It seems like so much. Just he's just drafting all cards I like. <laughs> that's the beauty of VRD. You could do that. Yeah. Uh, Brazen Borrower. Another Eldrain card. Really that's... fantastic Eldrain yeah. card. Great, great bit of tempo for Cody. 
Is there anything else from Eldraine? I mean, I guess Murder Strider's still, but Murder Strider's got to be too slow, right? That's Murder Strider be... seems a little slow. There's some fringe stuff still left out there. Yeah, tablets somewhere. Um, I had a list of some exciting Eldraine cards that I will pull up here. Let's see, yeah, Brazen Borrower, Emery, both been taken. Mystical Disputes. Uh, I expected. I wrote down Wishclaw Talisman because I think somebody's going to take it for a storm deck. Oh my gosh. John took Mind's Desire. That's not a reanimator card. That's a storm spell. Huh. Is he hedging between reanimator and storm? Does he want to switch back and forth? Hmm. Transformational sideboard. I don't know, maybe just a hate trap. Tin fins. <laughs> I mean, could be tin fins. Yeah, that's that's possible. My, my I'm not really familiar with tin fins. It's a it's a wild legacy uh, Gristle Brand combo deck. Oh. Uh, Mystic Forge. Yes, is a very good uh, M20 card. Veil of Summer. Um, Noxious Grasp could be relevant. Yeah, there's always some weird stuff missing. Yeah, Wishclaw Talisman, Fires of Invention, not Fires of Invention, uh, Emberath Shieldbreaker are both cards that, that I think matter that could be taken. Uh, Mystic Sanctuary is going to get picked at some point. I would be shocked if Mystic Sanctuary did not show up um, for somebody like Cody Owen who wants to recur some counter spells. Yeah, John pivoting into a Stormish strategy. Yeah, Elvish Reclaimer, if you want to do land strategies, it's pretty good. All the Whispers, another artifact land gone. Mm, yep. Think your targets, stock deck. Balance. Ooh. Oh, that was another one I was thinking of. Crap. Ooh, Not wow. From... Your outcome. Oh, there's just, there's so many. Wow. That's interesting. So that's what that uh, Scrubland was foreshadowing, was balance. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Looks like okay. Are we getting the? Uh, are we getting the land rush now? Yeah, I did. Uh, I remember I had notes for like eight different decks when I played. I had eight different decks that I was ready to play. Yeah, I was ready for it. You know, another card I see Brandon taking later: Aether Flux Reservoir. Somebody's just spamming <laughs> like white aggro cards into the pot. Yeah. Yeah, Aetherflux Reservoir could be could be a uh, an interesting combo card. We could see that somewhere. That could be that could be a Brandon a Brandon card. Surprise! Tezzeret, Angel of Bolas. That's ooh yes, okay, I'm the blue black Tezzeret. Yeah. I thought, but he's red blue so far. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That seems like a stretch on the mana. Thought cast. What? Actually, no, that makes sense. Return. I feel like you could have waited a little bit longer, though. Copperline Gorge for Mike. Okay, I the 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 red green fast land from Scars of Mirrodin. Yeah, I think I don't know. It just seems like even though he's going a lot of artifacts, I think Cody kind of needs some more. If he's going to go splash black, mm. maybe some more that just like protection for his mana base because all these lands are kind of flying off the board right now. Yeah, Mike putting some pressure on people who. I mean, that Bloodstained Meyer's gone. Yep. Well, he does have a Scalding Tarn. Meyer's gone. Delta's gone. Yeah, he has Tarn, So, but he would need... And Watery Grave is... is Watery, Watery Grave's, Grave's gone. gone. Yeah, yep. yeah. Watery Grave's in Brandon Curry's hands. Yeah. So it's going to be hard for Cody to get that black mana. He would yes. have to take, like, Blood Crypt or something wild to get that. Yeah. Players are very ready. Speaking of ready, mate, let's make sure we're ready for that interview. We've only got two and a half-ish rounds left before the interview, so please go ahead and type exclamation point interview along with the name of the player you'd like to see us feature, and Matt will interview whoever it is. Did we clear interviews? I don't know. I don't believe we have, Mark. Uh, Ashiok Nightmare Weaver taken. Ashiok Nightmare Weaver, of course, the, the original Ashiok. Oh, six votes for Cody, yeah. Uh, I think he wins this. Yeah, it looks like uh, Cody's been getting a serious balance of uh, of our votes. 
CJ has no lands pick and twenty picked in twenty seven main deckable cards. That is a good point. So Brandon really looks like he's he's out to disrupt other people's strategies. We might see cards like uh, like extract out of him if he's really really feeling it. But I think he's got a lot of ways to disrupt his opponent's library. Let's see, oh yeah, I've mentioned the Caracas mm. out there. Yeah, Caracas does does frequently get picked, but usually goes usually goes about now actually. Yeah. Urborg already off the board a couple rounds ago for Brandon. Urborg tube of Yagmoth, that is, not Urborg Urborg from Legends. An oh entirely unplayable card. I Oh no, I play that in my Hirobi Commander deck. Oh okay, oh, yes, hey, yes, that's yes, a yes, nice yes. Uh, that's you a nice stuff. Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger Hunger there. Yeah, it's yeah. dead. Boop, Urborg. It dies to an oasis. It dies to an Urborg. Urborg, of course. We're talking about this Urborg, which gives target creature n the lack of first strike in Swamp Walk. Uh, and yes, Hirobi Death's Whale, of course. Target, killing thing yeah. killing things that get countered. Nice yeah. little liquid metal coating in there too. Yeah. Oh, you think oh, it's artifacts. artifacts now? Yeah. Also, it's dead. With Karn. Mmm. It's a fun deck. Little touch of darkness to make targeting everything make it black, and they all die. Oh yeah, it loses first strike or swamp walk. Yeah, all cards are wild. We were talking about Snow Devil. Uh, I think yesterday at the shop. Oh, Transmute artifacts gone. Yes, Elaine. Taking up Transmute Artifact when Cody took Angels these... of Agony. Infuriate okay, now shape. that's... Giant right. pivoting into Storm. Very yeah. hard. Looking for this Tinfin style deck with a couple different ways to close things out. Kyle putting the hate on Tormod's Crypt. Do you think, uh, do you think that's the graveyard hate he should be looking for nice. here? Uh, well... He has like a decent amount of green deck. Next interview will be really brief. The pack's been really slow. We're trying to speed him up. Okay, so sounds good. So Matt will do the next song. quick I was just interview. About to swan song. Fantastic okay, card. Nick, Nick those. those the card driving the mono green deck with all the devotion he's got going on. Mer Battlesphere. Yeah. Yeah. CJ ready to just cast he's some just big doing nonsense. Things I like. Swan song, a fantastic counter spell from Cody. Yeah. You like your spell? Mm, have a bird. Yep. Anul? Okay. Really? Strong. Anul? Because, okay, you can take Anul, right? Anul. Yeah, but I, can, I feel like I can wait, though. But here's the card I would have taken. I would have taken this card. Steel set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. That's because there's better. not a lot of enchantments you want to counter. Yeah. I would rather be able to bounce an artifact, too. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Steam Vents off. Another tightening the wrench on Cody for finding... Uh, Yep. For finding mana base. Yeah. Elaine, meanwhile, taking Bottled Cloister. What do you think that's about? Bottled Cloister. Uh, I... Protecting her hand, maybe? I think so. Yeah. I did, I did have a recap on what that was. Yeah. Yeah, you... When, when it's not your turn, basically your hand is gone. Brandon taking Council's Judgment. For all you Commander fans out there. That's yeah, that's a fun one. What shenanigans? Shenanigans, ah yes, from Modern Horizons. Hey, what's the name of that restaurant? Oh, shit, I'll <laughs> Barbara walks in. Shenanigans. <laughs> Effect dredge. Yep. Okay. So it's a, a a shatter, a sorcery speed shatter with dredge one. So if you're drawing mm. cards, you just kill it. Yeah. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah, Elaine trying really hard to make her opponents unable to interact with her on her on their turn. Cody taking Vandal Blast, looking for another way to destroy artifacts. And a reality smash. Mm, Cody has a lot of ways to generate colorless mana, so that makes yeah. sense. Mox Monkey for Mike. Nice. You like a good Mox Monkey. One of my favorite ways of winning in Popper. Mm-hmm. Mox Monkey, or as it is normally known, Gorilla Shaman. Very good at destroying small artifacts over and over. And it's a lot of uh, small artifacts out here. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon's like. <laughs> Brandon's not excited probably about Mach no, Monkey, but he is excited to take, take Alter, Alter of dementia. dementia. That's a sweet one. Yeah.
Yep, I think uh, yeah, Mike or Cody blowing up see one of one of her uh, artifact lands might might make Elaine a little bit unhappy. She'll try to dodge, of course. Tundra when could be Tundra now. She's got that Dovin, that uh, that Teferi. She oh she Teferi time raveler. I mean, she needs white mana. Yeah, I wonder if uh, I wonder if Elaine takes a steel sabotage. I wonder if she's thinking mm. what you were thinking. Yep, 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 yep. Or if Cody's just like, all right, well, nope. She's or if she not. takes Padim to give her artifacts hexproof. Elaine going deep on these artifact artifact cards. Tabernacle is off the board. Tab for Kyle. Another OG duel in Badlands. Merfolk Trickster. John putting a lot of pressure on the mana right now, which I really yeah. really appreciate. I think that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if Elaine isn't the one playing control, she doesn't want to get uh get counterspelled out of the game. That is yeah. for sure. Merfolk Trickster for Cody. And Interesting pick. I don't think anybody else would have taken that right. for the entire draft. I was just thinking that. I was kind of expecting another dual counter. And Lana Orels for CJ, and right. we are at the interview All period. Right. so time for an interview. Okay, so we're going to be bringing, uh, what did we say, Cody, Cody. in here? Cody, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to hive chat for you. Okay. Boop. And then, how do I put his name in? Oh, I'll do it now. Okay. I'm not exactly tech savvy over here. No worries, no worries. I'll replace. Hi. Hey. All right, we got Cody handsome. coming in here. I'm gonna, One of you guys can get pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna give up my seat. Yeah, yeah. Get some pizza. Get a drink. All right, we're gonna mosey on down the left oh, here. Oh, I got. I'll fix your. Meat. Okay. Hang on. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, you mean like yeah. have him over here? Yeah, I'm gonna no, have or... him. I I gave him my spot. Oh, okay. Then we'll just keep that way. Yeah, let's not make this any more difficult. Here's it needs to be. Yeah. Here's the keyboard. All right. You, in case you, I don't know, want to type stuff. <laughs> okay, I don't, occasionally I like doing that. You like typing? Not I don't, really. I don't, I don't really like it. Good. I, I actually, I actually things. type. Yeah, fast well, I, chef, I hid though. the chat nice. for the interviews, so we're. Oh yeah, yeah. You would, you would know. You have finger dexterity. Okay, there's my right. lower Thank torso. You. Goodbye, chat. Right. <laughs> Mention it later on my date. Finger dexterity. Headphones yes. for you. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. Oop. Backwards again. All right. Well, welcome. How are you feeling about, I guess, what did I just do? Uh, Windows button, I think. Oh, I Windows button myself? Yeah, I think so. Oh, man. Seriously, I've taken this over for like five seconds. And, and we're everything's going, going downhill. <laughs> okay. I, all right. Go away. All right, we're back. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll start off something simple. How are you feeling about your draft so far? Uh, it's starting to come together. I've never okay. done rotisserie draft before, so like, it was an exploratory process at first. You know, like, a couple of the early picks, I was like, I know my deck's gonna be a little less consistent than a lot of other people, so I was like, I'm gonna hate draft for a little bit. I like what, no, that's the <laughs> thing, that's what I kept saying, I was like, I like what he was doing there, you're just drafting like a bunch of artifact hate bears. Yeah. Whereas yeah. most people, when they go in with like, they, because I was, you know, I, I have never done one of these myself, so I did like a little bit of research behind it, and it's like when people go for it, they're like, alright, I'm gonna go hate bears, and they go through, you know, your usual suspects, but this was like, you know, you had this, the, the, the strong, you know, with the, uh, the sneak attack going, and we're like, oh, is he going that route, and then you were like... Mm, yep, took a fatty. All right, now we're just going straight into like a lot of these like strong artifact hate bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I took the sneak attack because I was starting to kind of like pivot. Things were starting to disappear from what I kind of lined out for myself. You know, right. I was kind of figuring out where everybody was. Um, I knew I didn't want to fight over Storm, so I was like, I'll stick kind of brown. I know a lot of people think it's a trap. Mm -hmm. My mentor was like, don't take shops, and I like. Even on the Dark Depths one, I was trying to think of Mana Vault. I just couldn't think of it, so I just right, slammed right, shots. Right. So I was like, ah, maybe I can play it. But um, I started pivoting into kind of this Ravager shell mm -hmm. so that you can kind of slow everybody else down when they're doing, like, Storm and more powerful things than you because you don't have quite as many soul lands as a normal constructed deck. Yeah. So, and, like, and I will say, I think your favorite pick of, of mine that you've made so far is that Kodotha Forge Master. Yeah, I was like... I think that's my favorite. I was looking at them just like... Yeah, you have all these artifacts that just spring out, and then you're like, well, I don't need this anymore. Great, let's go and get something which I'm going to guess is to be named after looking yes. with, you got 15 <laughs> packs, of the, you know, 15 picks to decide that, so, you know, you've got plenty of time to make something really happen. 
Um, how do you feel about your mana base, though? Uh, it's looking a little shaky. You know, I've kind of got a couple directions, a couple cards. You know, like, I have a couple red cards. I definitely think I'm going to be, like, mainly blue. Maybe splash a couple of these more powerful cards. Probably start with Tezzeret. Yeah. By getting some, you know, like, against Elaine. She seems to have a lot of artifact synergies and things like that. Right, you know, that right, That deck right. can come in and kind of... Help me out a little bit there. Yeah, and that was the one that I actually predicted. They were like, "What do you what, like? What other fatty artifacts do you think he's gonna take?" I'm like, "I don't know. I think he kind of goes like with either his Dak Fade and their Sahili, and then Dak was taken off." Yeah, like, right, yeah. That's, that's I was like really seeing how long I could get away with that, and somebody said, "Wow, nobody's taking Dak Fade," and I was like, "Oh, slamming it now." I don't. Yeah, want yeah, yeah, on, so. yeah. Exactly. No, it's good. No, a, a person like you know, I like how this how everything's really panning out for you. And like I said, it seems like everyone's kind of. I thought everyone was kind of stuck in their lanes, but as you can see clearly wasn't there's still like a lot of yeah we're still fighting over cards there's a lot of yeah. wild carding out there yeah. um the one that got me the most was i think uh kyle picked that stone coil serpent and i just completely thought people would ignore that but that mm -hmm. card is so powerful in that ravager yeah. deck where you can just dump a bunch of counters on it so oh yeah, yeah yeah well yeah like you said there's still still some other stuff out there and you know you've yeah like it seems like you've gone through some of your hate pieces. Now you're probably going for a lot of your win cons now, I would yeah, assume. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. It's starting to come together. Yeah, We've got yeah, a little yeah. ways to go. we got to get away with a couple things first. Awesome. But. Like I said, this is like the first time I've been a part of one of these. I'm just really trying to take it all in. and. Yeah, it's, a, it's an experience for sure. It's been a lot of fun just sitting around a table just kind of... Yeah. Trash talking as we're all picking cards and that. But. Yeah, I've seen other people being like, oh, why did so-and-so take that? And I'm just like... <laughs> Um, I guess I have this kind of questionable sense of tone in my voice, but could I be doing any better in this situation? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. I've been like, I'll, I'll make a pick and I'll hear, well, there's better versions of that. And I'm like, I don't know what they are, but I'm going to take this. I, I, guess. I would be the guy that would just be like, do you have a, like, what cards do you, you have like all the popular copies of cards? Cool. Windmill slam Bizzard Dricks in the table and be like, <laughs> bet you don't have a copy of that, do ya? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I've got some uh, sweet things that I think I'm gonna pick a lot of synergies with that Forge Master to kind of try and be a little bit more counterplayish. Yeah, um, I'm really trying to find an answer to that Karn though. That's what I'm looking for now. I've got a mm. couple ideas um, because I think that's probably the scariest thing on the table for me right now. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So. Well, yeah, and like like I said, you know, a lot of, there's there's like a good amount of hate going on too. And like I said, there's just a lot of the usual suspects like going through. I mean, you know, because I have a pretty short sample size of what I like, you know, researched about this. But there's just a lot of the usual suspects that like I thought were gonna happen, and as soon as they got kind of passed over, it's just like these aren't gonna pop up at all. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things that I thought would be big players haven't shown up at all. You know, like I mean, reanimate and or entomb and you know, exhum were coming super late, and I think they're even. I think John picked them up if I remember. He correctly. did. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. got, like, a bit of a storm shell as well. So he's got, like, super versatile board to where he can kind of switch around whatever tra hate you're trying yeah, to break. Yeah, yeah, so. exactly. And, you know, and Brandon's just doing Brandon things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. Yeah, and then, like I said, like, Elaine was able to get away with picking Tinker pick 16, which just never really yeah. happens. Yeah, I was, like, I, I had that super late because I thought, you know, nobody's really going to fight over it. I'll take the Blight Steel early so that I can yeah. kind of back door into it if I get the chance to, but yeah. I think the lane's kind of my main competition for most of the spells that I want in my deck. So. Right, right. Yeah, and like I said, the thing is, like, people are like, why is she taking this yet? And then I was, well, who's she competing with over it right now? I thought yeah. you were the one yeah. person that may have competed with it, but then you took the sneak attack, and I was like, well, no, not no, not him. And then everything just kept kind of rolling, and I was like, no, I think she can just keep taking value. And I think that's what a lot of you guys did, too. I think you guys all just took straight value cards instead of like really cementing your strategies right away yeah and a lot of people were talking about trying to stay open and trying to because you know you don't want to dive all the way in and then get completely blown out when somebody starts taking your hate cards yeah well i mean yeah i feel like, like dark uh, Pets. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i mean kyle and yeah kyle and mike were over there just kind of like you know well first off you know taking a first pick pick three fast bond definitely yeah that was a little bit of telegraph <laughs> yeah 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 i think that startled everyone and you know especially like on the chat everyone was like, what what just happened yeah like, he well, came in knowing what he wanted to do he had a list and none of us disrupted him so he was like yeah exactly all in from the pretty, start him and brandon both i'll say out of the board i think i think kyle and brandon are the ones that are just kind of stand in their lanes i think i've seen a couple cards flap the boards where brandon would have been like damn it, i wanted that but for the most part, though, I mean, they're just, it seems like they're just kind of doing their things. I think 
out of all of them, they have the fastest picks. Yeah. So they yeah. just seem to have their cement, their strategy really cemented. I mean, Brandon was just trying to find every card with Mox in the name for the first, like, six picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I it's, think... I think it's actually coming together. It looks like one of the sweeter decks. I was expecting Paradoxical to come from him. Um, and then I was surprised that he waited till pack two for Mentor. I thought that would have came a lot earlier, too, from what I'd seen. Right, but right. Yeah, that went super late. But once again, though, like, who's he going to compete with Mentor? Yeah, over? yeah. Like, you, I mean, I... Looking at these, I don't see a single one. They're really, it's surprising, there really hasn't been a whole lot of white taken. Yeah, I, that's actually one of the things I've been thinking about, is, you know, there's not a lot of white taken. A lot of that removal is still there. Plus, you get some of these good hate cards, like, I have almost no way to deal with this card, other than, like, maybe a Vampire or Hex Mage that combos with my Dark Depths if I want to play that. Right. And it go, kind of goes with the Tezzeret. But I could also kind of, like, since I don't really have a colored spells, I can kind of swap into this, like, mono white. Yeah. deck and i can start playing things like admittedly bad but it's an answer uh like nevermore or right something like that to pick up to kind of get rid of those cards that i just can't answer yeah but also get some of the more some of the better removal to get things out of the way of my aggro deck okay right and you know here's another question i should ask too just mm -hmm. because this makes sense coming from my standpoint is just like since i haven't drafted a single card doing this before like what's that like is it do you are you guys timed at all so you're not necessarily timed, but at a certain point, people start asking you stuff like, hey, yeah. what, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? You know, yeah. and they start suggesting things, and that's it, it makes it a little bit harder, but uh, you got a lot of time to think about your picks. You know, you're not as involved. It's not like a normal draft where you're trying to, you know, pick from each pack, and you got to read through each pack. You kind of have an idea of what you're doing, and it yeah. kind of helps speed things up for you a little bit. And it's not like mental magic where you have to, like, think of a card. I see laptops out there, and you can just access the database. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. I've been kind of having to adjust as I go. So you know, rolling with different plans and trying to Google things as I'm right, like, right. what was that card's name and trying to find yeah. things like that. But it yeah, it's, it's like it's kind of coming together. Everything looks like it's uh, working out. Uh, we'll awesome. kind of see where everything goes. Yeah. All right, cause it looks like they're about to start. I won't keep yeah. you any longer. Hey, thanks for chatting. Bro. Thanks, man. Yeah. Here for a All right, Eric's just uh, Eric's just finishing up, but he'll be in here in a minute. I'll sit next to Matt for a minute. Okay. <clears throat> so Matt, did the first giveaway happen? Hey, the first giveaway has not happened yet. No. Ooh, we should do the giveaway after this round. As soon as Eric gets back, that'll be the the top order of business. Okay, giveaway. So people, if you want to receive some sweet prizes, go ahead and post in chat. We're just going to be looking back over the, the last few posts in chat to see um, who is eligible, and then we'll select from that. But very much uh, keep engaging, keep letting us know what's going on. And, and we're looking forward to giving away, I think for the first round, what are we giving away here? Looks like... This is the first round is going to be Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig. So this... Uh, this Full art Yorvo card. Apparently it's good in standard. I'm not really sure what's going on with standard, but thank you, Tulsi Looper. Tulsi Looper? Tuls I don't know what that Super hair. I see. Hope Pizza is the prize. Uh, yeah, so Beta, we actually had earlier on, who was it they got interviewed? Um, Cody, before Cody, it was, it was uh, Lane. Lane. Yeah, it was Lane. All right, and here is the, here is Dr. Levine himself. I've that before. All right, let's I don't have one of those. Switch around. There's people in this building with doctorates. I'm not one of them. I'm definitely not. The only Dr. Levine is going to be my wife. Ah, uh, true. Fair. I told chat we're going to be giving away the Yorvo whenever you got back, so... Oh, yeah. Um, let me know if you need a randomization, or yeah. if you have another sweet way of doing it. I have not had a good idea, so if you would want to random, if you would randomize... Yep, we're going to look be... over the last couple minutes, so... Yep. Go ahead and post if you're following. Um, and on there, there's a listing of when we should give away to. Yep. Yeah. So if you are if you are here in chat uh, and you want to be eligible for one of these sweet sweet giveaways, please make sure to to type words so we know you're here. Participate. Say something about what we're doing, Kyle. 
Oh, yeah, follow. That's what it is. Kyle, thanks for the follow. We appreciate it. I'm going to change my name back to my name. Uh, there's my name. How the picks? How have the picks gone since I've been? Oh boy. Yeah. Well, the person I thought would take Wheel of Fortune was not the person I thought would take Wheel of Fortune. Mmm. This this newly minted that. storm deck. Yeah. Now, anguish on making is a is an instant where vindicate is a sorcery. So I hear that. Data spot. MWM fifty five. Thank you both for the follows. Let's see what else we got going on. Elaine taking the new Sahili. Harsh Mentor, very, very powerful hate card. Ilon, the Great Rebel. What would we have started drafting Oof. into? That's an interesting question. Um, I love Storm. I might have gone for something like what John is doing. Um, I think that that probably would have been where I was at. It sounds like you're you're feeling these green cards, right? I am, yeah. I would have gone like Turbo Fatty Green, blowing things up and just making people sad. That's what I would have gone. That's the only really style I like to play in here. I'm not a big combo guy. I'm not a big someone who mills you. Also called it Kyle. Yeah, Green. there's the Azusa that. you called. Into the story for Cody. Oh, and that is not an Eldraine card I predicted we'd need. For the record, here's into the story. Five, seven mana, draw four, but it costs three less if an opponent has seven or more cards in their graveyard. Which a lot of these people will. Yes, they will. Um... Yeah, I also don't think I'm, like, intelligent enough of a limited player to be able to, like, I don't know, kind of like with Cody and I were talking about how you had a plan, and but keeping it open, being able to, like, switch into something else. So, yeah. I would have hoped to have gone smashy green fatty. Did he forget about opportunity? Well, this could be four mana opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Is I think that's better. Now? Foth is not gone, though, right? I haven't seen Fact or Fiction yet. No, it has not. I don't think Gifts and Given has been taken either. I haven't seen Gifts. Only Realms Uncharted. This Yorvo, by the way, still getting given away. We're gonna get. We're gonna have some way to randomize. So make sure you follow the stream. It's a extended art Yorvo, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of Eldraine cards, Castle Garen break here for CJ. Of course, making six mana for creatures. I think that's my favorite of the castles, being able to, like, you know, even if it is just a turn ramp early, it still still does work. Yeah. It's... Although the red castle and black castle seem to be getting the most played. Isaac Putin, thanks for the follow. All righty, we have a winner for the Yorvo. That is KM Brightbill. If you whisper your address, your some sort of mailing address for you, too, STLVRD, you are going to receive... This full art, or this extended art Yorvo, not full art, I guess, because it's got text on it. You can kind of see it. I'm far, my camera's far away. Search for tomorrow as well. Castle of Garen Break, very good at casting CJ's, uh, what's it called? Primeval type. Yep. I'm going to scroll down. Of course, if you want to see the whole draft, all the cards that have been picked, make sure to type exclamation point draft into the chat and you will see the URL for all of that. Let's see, Fabled Passage off the board. Another Eldrain card, yep. a fetch land. Or if you're opening it, a $20 bill. Whoa, Kyle with Wildest Dreams. That's the green dream, right? It's the green dream. Oh no, this is the not not from the destructive dream that not from that cycle apparently this is from Kaladesh XX green it's X regrowths and exile it interesting uh, X whoa the oh okay it scrolled itself I want that no more down I need there we go I need the room we got to get to the end here so sort of kind of goes with that his Bit of milling he's got there yeah yeah he drawn crab might be milling himself i don't know <laughs> mike flashing a gaia's blessing pick <laughs> just thinking about all this milling and forced card draw do you think there's a potential for any one of these guys maybe even kyle to be like screw it let's just go let's just go infect mm. 
Could be. Um, if Kyle really wanted to change up his creature base, but he'd have to take... Um, he'd need... I feel like he'd need more early interaction. A lot of the uh, a lot of counterspell stuff that Cody's got. If anybody's going to do it, I think it'd have to be Cody Owen. Okay. If he wants his win con to be infect, he could slam like Glisten or oh, Elf sense. and and the other the other early dropped infect creatures, and then big uh, just those those pump spells that nobody else yeah. is going to take. Black Castle is huge and pioneer in the uh, the mono black deck. Really good card in that deck. Hero's Downfall for Brandon. Issuing the Knight, just wanting the spell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yep. Wow. Underground. Some hollow and Underground. Oh, wait, Underground. River. That's not Underground Sea. Underground River. Okay. Yep, that's the Ice oh, Age yeah, Bane Land. Yeah. So he's sunk in Hollow. Yeah, so he's reaching. He's reaching for yep. mana fixers right now. Sunken Hollow, of course. Believe has those types so it's fetchable oh Fiomancer oh, remind Fiomancer. me Fiomancer that's the one that makes a snake if you don't have a snake token it makes a 1-1 one, one black snake token with death touch at the beginning of each upkeep oh okay very sacrificable to any of his many altars yeah. well not altar of the brood wait was this a joke was this a goof nope, nope. it was not a troll he's really picking Ophiomancer that is awesome Really excited to see what he does with that. Because he couldn't pick Mox Amber. <laughs> well, cause I think Crow Mox is still out there. Crow Mox is still out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I almost forgot. I get mage. I had forgotten. LT Dale, thanks for the follow. We appreciate it. Careful consideration. Nature's Coming in for playing. John. You can discard some cards. Kyle continuing to want to... Uh, I guess he doesn't have a lot of the artifact hate, does he? Do the convoy green decks like what Mike and Kyle draft ever actually do well in VRD? Uh, I remember one time Brent went 0-7 with his, but uh, I mm. think his deck was better than his record. You know, I think he should have won a match or two at least. But Cyclonic Rift wasn't. I think you called that one a while back. Yeah, we talked about Cyclonic Rift a while ago. Elvish, Elvish Mystic, Mystic, naturally. We mentioned that. Cyclonic Rift. Depending on how you like to play Commander, either one of your favorite or one of your least favorite cards in the format. Um, yeah. <laughs> These, let's see if Elaine remembers to pick the spell for the Savant. Elaine will... Eh, I'm the kind of person that would forget to pick the spell for the Savant. Right. Elaine is not. This member. Which Savant? member? Sorry, I got a required, legally mandated to make stupid dismember jokes. That's fair. Spellstar Spell Strike. Strike. Does he okay. have other fairies, or is he just angling for ones and zeros with that? Maybe. Well, uh, Cloud of Fairies is still out there. Mm, that's true. Could could take those free fairies. Hitting Needle, interesting. Needle for Kyle, huh? Yeah. Oh. Wait, Unless... oh. Where'd it go? No, John's pick's already in there, Kyle. Elaine still needs Mycosynth Lattice and Tundra and the White Artifact Land. What does Elaine imprint with Savant? Um, Heat Shimmer is the one I've heard. Biorhythm is another one. There's a couple options. Heat Shimmer seems like the uh, the best one, most likely. Yeah. Kyle locked in on Pything Needle here because John has already taken that Sunken Ruins. You can't change your pick once the next person has already chosen. Yep. Who's that in the booth? Oh, it's Eric Levine. But more importantly... Matt Wynn. Look at that. I'm guessing that's Alex. Alex, we miss you. It's worth it. Yeah. Hope of Girapur for Elaine really trying to push away interaction. Did Howl oh, Fountain Ooh. just go before Tundra? That's weird. I think, uh, I think, uh, what is it? Are Flooded Strand is still out there. I can't think of a single reason why. I, he probably thinks Tundra was taken. To be fair, it is like round 35. What in the world? 
No, that's not the name of the card. What is the card called? It's Ayula's. It's Ayula one. He wants. He by bear assault. He means Ayula's influence. That is the card he is looking for. Bear assault. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what it is, right? It's bear. It's not seismic assault. Yeah, it's, right. it's bear ick assault. I like I like the name bear assault better. It's very good. It's streamlined. Yeah, Ayula's influence. What is that? Bear assault. She can yes. influence by other ways. Like <laughs> larger. Yeah, bear assault. Definitely. We know. Yeah, we know what card it is. He's uniquely identified the card. Judge is ruling. He picked Ayula's influence. There's no other card that could be bear assault. Right. Mindstone Mind for Elaine. Okay. Interesting. The tundra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At this point, is he just taking it away from someone? Savannah? Okay. Still some OG duels out there. Yeah. Well, uh, I think Badlands is still out there. We got Badlands Plateau. earlier. Plateau oh, is still okay. out there, though. We don't have deck names yet that I've seen. We do have everybody's top two picks up at the top. Uh, frozen so that you can see them. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, Shamble Shark. Shark. Now that you're gonna have to pull that one up for me. I love that name. It's what a great it? name for a fantastic blue green oh, flash that's card. Right, that guy. Two one flash evolve. Everyone's favorite fish crab. Progenitus for CJ. I don't think Brandon's the type of guy that kicks himself. He literally walked, like I said, walked in with his own bowl of yogurt and granola. Yeah. And an American flag tank top. He's I, I don't think he's gonna kick himself. No, he's he's uh he's he's confident. He knows he knows he made the mistake and he'll live with it. Yep. Dance of the Mance from Kyle, maybe he's hating on somebody. That doesn't seem like a card for him. Meanwhile, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, another big reanimator target for mm -hmm. John. Really So still kinda keeping that I can do storm or reanimator. Yep. Just keeping it wide open. Was it Tenfin you were saying? Tenfins, yeah. Right, Named yeah. after an episode of C Lab twenty twenty one. Which I never did get into that. Yeah, I, it's, it, which makes no sense. I think that's a show I would have liked. You you seem you seem like the kind of person who would enjoy that. Yeah, that's, that seems like your your kind of goofs. Yeah, it does sometimes take a, a particular state of mind, but it's enjoyable. I, right. I still I still like C Lab. I think I think that's something I would enjoy after a you know twelve hour shift. Yeah, exactly. Once your once your brain has just been deleted by work, it really yeah. it really does the job. Oh, there it is, Micah and Flattis. Elaine picking up the lattice, for, of course, for her for her Karn the Great Creator to lock opponents out mm -hmm. between Time Vault uh, and and Karn. She has a couple ways to just win games outright. And I would like to make fun of Brandon for. Taken Godless Shrine instead of Scrubland, but I believe Scrubland has been taken. I believe he has Scrubland. Even. Yeah. Oh, he does. Okay. That would have been funny. Yeah. <laughs> if he'd done it again, right? Yeah. We already had the uh, we had the Hallowed Fountain incident. We earlier had the reshape before Transmute Artifact. Yeah. There's been a couple of uh, little little forgetting. Or like you're saying, the Steel Sabotage. Well, that's yeah. I guess that's opinion. That based, one's so, at least yeah. questionable. That that one's at least like you you might argue that there's an art enchantment you want to counter but yeah. like t okay tell me what it is would be my reply yeah. to that speaking of which still sabotage still out there crop rotation picked up for mike look at that Good. so do you think he like kind of goes for more lands at this point just he might some of those bigger lands um dark steel forge Oh, All right. Interesting. Looking to make his artifacts indestructible. Yeah. Something Elaine may have wanted too. Yeah, potentially. Maybe. Well, I don't well, think no, she needs it. Yeah. Oh wait, this Tinker though is it destroy target artifact or it's sacrifice? sacrifice? Okay. Which bait orb for Cody Gunn? It looks like he wants to dodge these discard spells. Right. That might but flying his way. But the thing is though, like. I feel, I don't know, I feel like most of the discard damage would be done early on. Yeah, I don't think which banner you know? is the card he's looking for. Yeah. I think more spear-type effects are really, really the thing. Maybe uh, Thorn of Amethyst is still out there, right? Yeah, it is. No, Thorn has not been taken. Also, another, Null Rod. Null Rod's still out there, although, yeah. 
Somebody somebody wants that. It's not Cody. No, definitely not Cody. But one of but... these green players might want that null rod. Exactly. Which Maynard is anti painter stone, that's true. You cannot be grind stoned while you are hexproof. While you have hexproof, pardon me. Ghost quarter, all right. Another wasteland light. Uh, Mike could even run people out of lands with that in a long game. So let's see. Still no. Um, I mean, PT is still out there. Liliana, the last hope. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Liliana, the last hope. Here she is. Brandon looking to mill, I guess, himself. Right. Shadow of Doubt. Card I like a lot. Another way to prevent people from searching. Shadow yeah. of Doubt. If I you love liked, that card. Somebody was talking about Elvish the Reclaimer earlier for land decks. That's been picked up now for Kyle. Mm -hmm. Right after Inkwell Leviathan for John. Another fantastic reanimator target from the Alara block alongside Sphinx of the Steel Wind. That's true. You could Witch Bane as early as turn one in Cody's deck. Yeah. That'd be a really good hand, though. Yep. I mean, just like Ruby Workshop Witch Bane Orb. Yeah. Wild Born Preserver. Another El That's an Eldraine card I did not expect to see. I expected to see something like Hydroid Crazes before that, but that's a better yeah. card for but, CJ. Yeah, yeah. Thing that Mana Comp. Oh, Mana Confluence. Yep, finally. Yep. City of Brass already went, but here's Mana Confluence. Yep. Wildborn Preserver, of course. Just a, a big Next. big flash creature. Or a flash creature that gets bigger. Yeah, you uh you build a main deck. We we don't we don't have deck lists. We are here we're here having fun. If uh if you're modifying your, your main deck illegally between rounds, you'll be you'll be shamed right out of the tournament right we'll we'll figure it out we've got 8600 judge levels in here yeah ranking of decks our... okay um oops that was my phone it's no okay. big deal sorry got cracking it oh no um i don't know personally i think elaine's is the top seed right now and just you know especially talking to cody too seems like that's the one everyone's kind of the most afraid of um i think personally two would be john morris then three, Kyle. Um, mostly just because of how confident Kyle's drafting, and he just seems like he's really had his plan in place. Mm. Seems like he really knows what he's wanting to do, um, which gives me four because Brandon's. I think he's just drafting the same way. It just seems like his deck has a lot of answers for everything. Brandon told the table that milling was his win condition before they started playing. That's how confident he is today. Or just how Brandon he is. It's it's hard to know. It's hard to know which. Yeah, I mean that's that's my that's my top four right there, and then uh, maybe give CJ the edge for five, just because I be biased because I really like that's the kind of deck that I would play if I was playing. In Portland, y'all share deck lists. That's a pretty good idea. I'll talk to Mark about that. That seems like a solid idea. I, and I'd like Cody's odds better if it's just his mana base was better. Mm. I think, well, I, I, the thing is, though, I think, I don't know why taking the Tezzerith there. I think if it had just, like, stayed yeah. blue-red, I think he would have been, you know, just fine. And taking cards like, I don't know, uh, Shiv and Reef instead of worrying about River of Tears and Dark right. Water Catacombs. Just staying, like, you know, um, is it instead of going for, uh, what is that, Gruel? No, not Gruel, uh, Grixis. Grixis, yeah. Yeah. Helm of Obedience for Brandon. Looking to leverage his Ley Line of the Void as a combo piece. Hmm. I think Mike's deck is going to beat the other fairish Is it strategies. just me, though? Or wait, is it just me? Was Helm, of, was Helm of Obedience already taken? Helm of uh, Obedience was a card we were talking about, but I don't think it got taken. Okay. I could have sworn... Or maybe someone was about to take it. So I don't know. I could have sworn I remember... Typing it, someone you typing in Helm of Obedience though. I don't think I type it. Smelt, smelt, Interesting. smelt, smelt. Just one mana instant destroy target artifact. Yeah. Yeah, seems it's good. Pretty good. Hex, Hex parasite. parasite. 
Vampire Hex Mage. No, oh, but that's what he was talking about earlier. Depths. Exactly. He has the Dark Depths. Uh, so that's why... Okay, now, you know what? Now it's making more sense. That's why he splashed black. Okay. The Dream 42, thanks for the sub. He's trying to... Dreadhorde... Oh, that's a that's a, another card I really Ooh, like. Dreadhorde Arcanist looking to leverage the instance and sorceries he would have already played. Cards like Smelt. Yeah. And that does require... Uh, those instants and sorceries to be in the graveyard, so that's interesting. Right. Which, oddly enough, I don't... Yeah. Doesn't have a lot. He doesn't really have a lot, yeah. I wonder if now is... Maybe he's just trying to reach for some now. Yeah, Taking some more of those... I mean, there's still a lot of good, you know, green and red instants and sorceries out there. We do have another giveaway coming up, by the way. Thanks for the sub... The uh, subscription. Oh! Alex just gave out five sub gifts. Holy crap. So we have five new subscribers to the channel. Alex, thank you. That is mighty generous and much appreciated. Uh, between the draft and the gameplay, we do have another giveaway coming up. In specific, we have this Russian Gitrog monster, Ooh. which you can sort of see. Uh, that's how long my arms are, sorry. But I assure you it's a Russian Gitrog monster that we're going to be giving away. So if you want to be eligible for the giveaway, make sure you are here participating in chat, following, and we will randomly determine a winner for that object in the meantime. Um, Elaine just took Golos. What? I'm confused. Huh? I know she has a... Yeah, I know she has a good plan for it, probably, but I'm I'm confused. She'll do something good with Golos. it. Golos. Yeah, why are they doing Gregorian chant? Does anyone know? I have no idea. Turnabout for John Morris. I mean, I guess for... it's better than singing yellow card. Well, but... okay, a lot of things, most things. I feel like, I feel like some sort of like. I I would play with those scissors before I would I would in, endure yellow oh, card. Same. <laughs> same. Ice Fang Coatl for Cody. Uh, which one's that? That's the, the uh, blue green kind of yes. This the one one flash flying draw card could have depth touch, but won't because Cody will not control three other snow permanents. Mm -hmm. Hey, Terastodon! Terastodon, nasty yes. Terasty is here. I see now. I just like CJ's deck even more. Yeah, look just, at that. that's the cherry on top of this like fat green. Value smash destroy things Sunday. Well, if CJ so goes enjoy. missing partway through this draft experience, and you see Matt playing CJ's deck, you know what happened. Oh, you man. know, who I would love it. to. I would love to play that <laughs> deck. These other, I, I don't think I could pilot any of these other decks, though. I'd just be like, cool. So this is when you untap the time vault, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Well, no, what? see if you do that, you've ruined the whole point of the deck, and now I'm going to kill you with this blight seal colossus. <laughs> oh, that's how this game gets. Okay. Yep. Awesome. You just you want to be attacking with that blight steel or yeah, the, the yeah. Steel. yeah, right. <laughs> There's the field of the dead, but yeah, but not from Mike from Kyle. Looks yeah. like that was in his plan. Okay. I do remember seeing that in his, his document, so that makes sense. Careful study for John looking for some uh, some more reanimator enabling, more card selection. You know another good card that hasn't been taken yet? Mind uh mind over matter. Mind over matter, no mind over matter decks here. I don't think I've seen a mind over matter deck in in VRD recently. Can't wait, is that oh, that's wait, that's hold on, that's an actual deck like style. Maybe I'm thinking of a different card then. I thought there's like another good blue like blue good value draw draw card like mm. cantrip style. Mm, okay, okay. <clears throat> yeah, only five times, so not a ton. Acid rain, Elaine with the hate cards. Ooh, so let's like look that. these up. This is that's, a great land hate card to destroy all forests. Rings. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah. Blue boil. Yep. Chandra, comma. Well, that could be basically yeah. anything. I would think Torch of Defiance. I heard somebody say Torch of Defiance. Could be Awakened Inferno. It is Torch of Defiance. All right, yeah. That makes the most sense. Yeah, Opposition seems like a, a deck I would not want to draft just because you're tapping creatures and, like, who cares, really? Yeah. So Jace Friends Prodigy. Off the board. 
Cody Gunnett with uh, the Looter Scooter Smuggler's Copter here. More accurately, the Blue Tsunami. Yeah, that's fair. It is It is the, the foil to Tsunami. Cards like Boil and Flash Fires also in there. Does Black have one too? Destroy All Planes? Oh, Virtue's Winner. Yeah. Yeah, 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 three. yeah. Virtue's Winner. Oh, yeah, yeah, so they all have one. Okay. There's all, there's all, everybody's got something. Flash see. fires and red. Um, stoic rebuttal. Stoic rebuttal. Interesting. Let's take a look at stoic yeah, rebuttal. Yeah. It's a counter spell. Costs one less to cast if you have three or more artifacts now. Which, he, I like his odds. You know what isn't, hasn't been drafted yet? Miscalculation. Man, yeah, got drafted, right. but there's no miscalculation. I, I personally, that that gives me the pain. I would like, yeah, I would like. I feel like I would like a miscalculation. That's scenario. Just be able to cycle a card. Yeah. Oh, and finally, uh, white, white removal. Yep. Swords, Swords and plowshares. plowshares. Finally, showing Path up. Exile is still out there. Probably gonna get drafted by Brandon. I would assume. Serum Vision still out there. I think. Yeah, it is. You're right. It is. Baleful Strix. Hey. Elaine drafting a great card. Ro Owl. Everyone's favorite robot owl. Yep. Very much a, a similar card to Ice Fang Coatl. Repeal for John. Regrowth for Kyle. Yeah, no sleight of, of, uh, of hand either. No. Yes, best card is always a bird. Carpet of flowers. Yes, there's a saga showing up. I'm going to need a reminder on that one. Well, here you go. Flowers. Carpet of flowers. Uh, this is sort of what it says. At the beginning of each of your main phases, if you haven't done it yet this turn, you can add up to X mana of one color of your choice to your mana pool, where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. Oh, okay. Always oh, bold strikes. Speaking of Tsunami, CJ coming in with Tsunami, as well as Creeping Corrosion, like also it. known as the Green Shatterstorm. Mm -hmm. So those... Once the, again, cards I like. Yep, yep. Destroying Islands and Destroying Artifacts. Keeping Two things it I fair. like destroying. Simic Charm for Cody Owen oh, looking to protect which, his creatures. Which banoid has been taken, Ooh, Kyle. Kyle Richter, you can't have that. They know. No, they figured it out. Okay, that's good. I hear him sussing it out. Gaddick Teague. Oh, what? Teague that's... just just locking some stuff out. Yeah. Interesting. I don't so think that's Teague necessarily his the plan. There's finally snaps taken. Yes, a free spell. Yeah. That's There's a thousand cards with snap in their name. Ah, here it is. It's weird art, but we know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that art. It's some kind of dual deck art. Yeah. Stefx2, thanks for the follow. You and I are used to this one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, it's 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 what I grew up with. Yeah. Snap is a full card name. Ninth seed, bad bot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that what is is that what ninth seed is? It's an actual bot. Yeah. I thought someone's just been screwing with us this whole time. No, that's Mark's bot, I think. Oh, really? Okay. Where it's like, this card, it just keeps bringing up random cards that we keep mentioning, and it's just like, is this playable? <laughs> Prismatic Vista was taken a while ago, I think by Elaine, if I remember correctly. You can always type exclamation point draft and get the URL for... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Smart Very ass. nice. Very good. People love just... There's Mac in the sixth round. We are going to do some, uh, I believe we're going to do some interview type content in the in the between time as well for players who, who want to be interviewed. So if there are people you want to talk to, people you want us to talk to, go ahead and press exclamation point interview and type the first name of that player. And if it's not Elaine or... Cody will try to get them in the booth. How was that interview with Cody, by the way? How'd that go? It was go? good. No, it was good. He answered like a lot of questions I had personally. You know, just seeing where he was, his his head was at with you know how he was drafting and you know kind of what goes into drafting. It was it was it was a bit educational for me and 
You know, and like like I said, he was definitely he was definitely the most afraid of Elaine. Nice, that makes also, sense. So you called it on the uh, Grove, and yep. I called it on that rest in peace Sir Brandon. Grove of the Burn Willows, really, really showing up here. You won't predict a single pick I'm going to make. <laughs> Mox Tantalite. <laughs> Is Cody going to take cranial plating? I mean, I can't tell if he's going wide or going big, so yeah. anything could happen with his deck. I don't see why not. Thought not, not seer. seer. All right. That's Leading a good a little one. more into the Eldrazi. Yeah. A little more of an Eldrazi Tron style list. About to make his second very, to last pick here. We're almost yeah. at the end. Like I said, he's just still very wide. Yeah. So I'm, Now it's like, does he go with that? Oh, Precursor Golem. Yeah, yeah, wow. It's a 3-3. Three, three, makes two more 3-3 three, three Golems. Oh, yeah, Whenever one. one of your Golems gets targeted, and only that thing gets targeted, all your Golems get targeted. Yeah. I hated playing against that in Standard. That card's so funny. I mean, it's 9 nine power for 5 mana. Great card. Yeah. If you don't powerful. have a spell in your hand, it's, it's, no, it's fun. It's fun when you have a spell in your hand, like yeah. a lightning bolt. When you don't have one of those in your hand, though, and you have creatures and you're trying to swing for lethal, you're Very like, "Well, punishing. this sucks." Glimpse the unthinkable for Brandon, <laughs> really leaning into that mill. Yes. Get you for ten. Yeah. Does he even have Toxic blue mana? Deluge. I don't know. Toxic deluge for for uh, for Elaine. So we have so no ancient den for her then. Mm -mm. She took the uh, the black one, but not the white one. That's out. She can still take an ancient den. Kyle has taken natural Six, selection. Nice. Um, to answer your question though, Brandon does not. Uh, I don't think he has uh, blue, but he does have. Um, he has Jace Friends Prodigy. Yeah. Thing. Oh, he's Hallowed Found. Okay. Yeah, and he has he has things to fetch, and he has the Mox Diamond to generate mana of any color. So this for 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 the record, this is the card Kyle Richter has taken is natural selection, which is Tiger Bird holding a ball. Uh, I don't know what to be a plan is. An apple. Some kind of. Let's I have don't. two. Yeah, let's have two predatory carnivorous animals holding a holding fruit. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, Mark Poole, you're fantastic. But what is what is this? We both clearly, yeah, we're made of two things that clearly devour other animals, but let's hold a fruit here. Yeah. Because this just makes all the sense in the world. You said, yeah, I can't tell and and also holding like a Ooh. staff in the other hand. I'm sorry, another another one of my favorite cards got Collar of the Claw. Collar of the Claw, yes. Some wrath insurance for Cody Owen. Yeah. Oh, I like that card. Echo of Eons for John, the... Uh, the, the Walmart brand. <laughs> Great uh, value. <laughs> yeah, the Walmart brand Time Twister. Kindred Charge. So, mm. this is what Elaine took for her kill. Not Heat Shimmer, but Kindred Charge. Davriel for Brandon. Rurik Thar for Mike. Yeah, it's the same thing. Kindred Charge. Okay. Same thing as Heat Shimmer. No different. But it just multiplies Rurk faster. Rourke Thar is an awesome last pick. Rurthur. Yep. Fantastic. Great way to punish spellcasting. Yeah, Kindred Charge does not target, which is pretty cool. And, well, nope, no pithy needle. needle can't taken. add Needle. Hang on. Cody. Can't do that. Mmm. And he already has the Revoker. Brandon, what does he take? Brandon took Alila Artful Provocateur, the Brawl card. Wait, he, both his picks? What? No, you can't delete both your picks. Yeah, what else would he take? I mean, at take this point... Take a three and Dynamo, screw it. <laughs> Steel Sabotage, still out there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorceress Spyglass. Yeah, that, if play. you can't have Needle, take Spyglass. Yeah, that's sure. a good one. Yeah, I... If the players at the table allowed changing the Davriel to the Alila, that's fine. Mike Mike did already have the Rurik Thar in the spreadsheet before he needed to pick, so yeah, I'm like lukewarm on that one mattering. Yeah, I'm I if I were one of the players at the table, I'd say have your Alila. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. I think that's how it was. A lot of these picks are just like yeah, just take it. I don't need it's, it. 
it's cool. It's cool. We're going to be cool. Yeah, like, if we want to be technical, yes, I agree. But but if the players at the table allow it, we're cool with it. Yeah. All righty, so that is the end of the draft, and that means a couple things. The first thing it means is we're going to be getting somebody in here for an interview probably once they're done deck building. But the second thing it means is that we are going to give away this Russian Gitrog monster. So if we could get some randomization to give out this Russian Gitrog monster, that would be fantastic. Is it foil? No, it is non-foil. But it's Russian. But Russian it's, gets, yeah. Russian Gitrog monster is cool. It's very cool. You can see it here. It's upside down. Very helpful. Five votes for Cody, three votes for Elaine. We've seen them. Okay, yeah, so four votes for Michael. So it sounds like we want to get Michael yeah. in the booth. We want to hear about the Legacy deck in the Vintage Draft. We also need to select a random person. So, logistics folks, if you're out there in the universe, send us a random, a random person. These folks, work hard to make sure that the draft stays on track that the players have what they need that cards are printed out and so on and so forth jukem 69z thanks for the follow all right so now that the draft is over what do you think who's who's who are you projecting as the winner i mean i don't know i still i still think elaine has the best odds i will yeah. i think that i think that you know i, t I talked about how kyle seemed very confident and um, Brandon seemed very confident, but I don't know. I think Aline has like the best. Oh, Hi. we're Hi. sending Hi. Brandon in. Interview or not? Come, we, yeah. let's, let's do one. Let's do it. Yeah. Cool. You want to? Oh wanna... yeah, I'll interview him. I'll, cool. I'll do this one. Alrighty, so I'm gonna hop off for for a sec and let you do your thing. You can do a sweet interview here. It's just, we just got to interview somebody. Uh, they do want to, they do want to talk to uh, Mike at some point. Yeah. What up, though? Well, hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm, yeah. Uh, I didn't think that uh, other people were going to be in my lane, so you know, this time I got a lot of the cards that I wanted to get. Um, it's very goofy. Yeah. Um, I like it though. Like I was saying, I, I think I think out of everyone drafted, it seemed like you you kind of had your just like ah, I'm just gonna do whatever and I'm gonna stay in this lane and had the kind of the most confident draft going in, but. It's a pretty good list you put together. Yeah, thanks. And um, also, I did predict a few of your picks. Oh, which ones? Um, I predicted the, I believe it was the him, um, the Lily, and could be wrong about that. All um, good. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, the rest in peace. Ah, uh, yeah. What? Uh, what things was I supposed to draft that I didn't? That uh, chat discovered. Um. I, I don't know. I think, honestly, I think your deck was the one, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I think there was maybe something with, oh yeah, Tundra, oh, that's right, yeah, you did take, uh, um, yeah, you did take Hallowed Fountain over Tundra. That was one, that was the oh. big one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whatever. That's yeah, that's what, that's what we thought, like, he's yeah. not gonna care. No, Tundra's, oh. <laughs> yeah, you did. You took Hallowed Fountain, and then John was immediately like, uh, <coughs> Tundra. Sucker. Mm. I was yeah, what are you like, I do? don't think he's, I, I, I think, you know. So, last time, uh, last quarter's draft, I did uh, zero hours of sleep, and then last night I got four. So Cool, me too. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I work at this restaurant that's open pretty late. Yeah. You were there the other night on a date. Yeah, yeah, how'd that go? Uh, it's great. Should Sorry, I, I Hey, Ryan, hi. what's up? What up, boo? Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, there, mistakes are going to be made. I forgot my computer... Um, at home. So, Wait, you know. so you did this without a computer? Yeah, I was just... Holy crap. Just the, like we were talking in interview with on. Cody, like they had all their database and everything. This man went completely... Just... Mental magic. That's yeah. impressive. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think it, I think it was fine. It helped that nobody was playing white, and so I could just leave those picks till the end. So I yeah. had a lot of time to think about uh, yeah, those so particular ones. But um, I mean, there's like just so many picks that, uh, like, of really, really valuable cards. Of course, like as always, that just don't get snatched up when they're supposed to, and mm-hmm. people forget. Like, I mean, Tundra's Tundra is an example. Like, oops. Um, it also doesn't really matter. But like, it's not going to kill you. But, it's not going to make or break your deck. But no, it's... Library of Alexandria, um, the, I mean, Leyline of the Void and the Helm of Obedience combo. Mm-hmm. Um, Jace Finn's, Friend's Prodigy is almost always, like, snatch off the board a lot earlier. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, at 36, I was like, oh, there's a fetch that still hasn't been snagged. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take that one. Um, my only question, though, is, like, how, like your mana base, though, was, like, one of the, was, like, the biggest question I had. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, you got like, that Mox Diamond in there to splash color. You got the well, Arid Mesa so, to fetch the fountain. So the I've got the Polluted Delta and the Arid Mesa, which fetches all three colors. Um, I've got the three uh, dual slash shocks. Um, I've got the Mox Amber, the Mox Jet, and the Mox Pearl. Yep. I've, I've got Pentad Prism. Um, oh, that's right, the Pentad Prism. Uh, I've got Lotus Petal, and I have a uh, Phyrexian Altar. So oh. I've, I've got, oh, like, yeah, you're I've good. got like, yeah, it's, okay. fi- it's fine. Yeah, so um, you're, you're, you're I've got like nine, board. nine cards in there that get me all the colors that I need. And it's mostly, it's mostly black and artifact. So I'm not really concerned about, like, I don't think anything on there has either double blue or double white, except for Council's Judgment. But, okay. Yeah. So I, I think the man is fine. It'll probably give me a trouble or probably give me trouble in like two or three games, but that you've got to pick the cards that are like kind of help you yeah. win. Hopefully those so, are the two or three games too when someone just gets the god draw and just turn ones you and yeah. you're like, well, if yep. this is a game cool. for me to be shafted, this is the game. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I like. I think it's going to be really fun to play. It uh, is. I th- no, I think, your deck looks like a ton of fun. I think <laughs> CJ, like I said, I think CJ has the deck that I actually really want to play. Yeah. The, the, that's, just the, my, that's just my style though. Big, big yeah. Green is a really, really fun deck to play. Yeah. Let's, yours yeah. is like a little, yours is like slightly more cerebral. Uh, but also without well, I mean it's it's very straightforward it's just not a it's not a straightforward version that people would play with or have, has seen no, play I would, it's just a bunch, I would. it's a bunch of goofy stuff that happens to work in a vintage rotisserie format yeah uh, like for example a glimpse the unthinkable into a um, what's the card uh, the the bitter ordeal that it's basically like mm. your library is gone and game over yeah um so oh, that's awesome yeah um and like oh i'm just now remembering the card that i absolutely should have picked and didn't which was merchant scroll because i need to get the par- oh, paradoxical oops. outcome yeah. i've got enough card draw i'm not like the the skull clamp with li- i mean like literally everything all your in, little with literally everything in there yeah. um if i get that online it's great i'm it, the deck is very vulnerable to hate but um that, that's yeah. fine. There's a lot of ways I can just like get it online and going on turn one. Mm-hmm. And I have a lot of alternate win conditions. So, um, like, one of the things I think is undervalued in Vintage Rotisserie App, not saying it's like, <laughs> it's like super powerful, but um, it's just a format where there's only 40 cards in your deck. And then, you know, by turn one, there's only 32 cards remaining. And so, you know, as soon as Ashiok is down, it's you know, like a, a, you know, uh, what is it, like a seven-turn clock, including their draw step. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, with a Glimpse the Unthinkable, it reduces that to four. And then, the, like, with Bitter Ordeal, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um... That, no, that's a good way of looking at things. Right. And so, like, uh, I... I was thinking about going into counter spells and um, other stuff like that, but... Okay. It, it, it just, it seemed... On the amount of sleep I got, no, no and I, and I'm, with the the esoteric nature of, of of the deck itself, I was just like, yeah, yeah. I'm not, cares, gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. Dude, the cares that you forward. that given or reflect the cost of your artifacts, but yeah, I mean, yeah. no, it's cool. I like mm-hmm. that. Um, yeah. So yeah, what ca- what's the consensus like number one uh, deck here? Is that uh, is that Elaine's? Yeah, yeah, it is. She she absolutely hates her deck, and I think it's funny because that. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. It's she's just very, saying very that. Yeah, she's right. just saying that. She says that she's going to be like, and then she wins. Yeah, yeah, that's just how that's just how she rolls. Yeah, I think uh, John's is very solid. I think 
fortunately, I match up very favorably against that with my ley line and my yeah, uh, and my rest in peace. And he's my got that. Yeah, he's definitely got that like ten pin thing going on. Yeah. Um, um but also, the, I mean, the better ordeal will definitely help. Yeah, with that too. I think I, I think it seems like for the most part, everyone kind of stayed in their lanes. Um, I will say, I think uh, CJ, Kyle, and Mike kind of fought over cards a little bit. I think CJ kind of took some of uh hate cards from yeah. Kyle and Mike, and I think Kyle started the whole. You know, from yeah. the get go, taking the fast one. Yeah, uh, it was. I I felt very very honored that uh, Kyle decided to um, memorialize my uh, my previous draft, the one three months ago, with uh, the first pick fast bond, second pick channel, oh. um, and go into the the Crucible of Worlds yeah. kind of combo thing. And he he actually got the strip mine too, so that's a uh, like you that's you huge. you can't count out Kyle's deck like that combo is is really nasty right um and for me personally like I so I've never done one of these before I was looking on line for different versions and was just like trying to figure out you know how these things go so I have stuff to talk about which I was doing I was like well these cards haven't been taken and these cards haven't been taken um but yeah um I there was some like in fact yeah was something I was kind of surprised um um, so I, that was something I was surprised wasn't taken. Um, Chrome Mox is interesting. Um, that uh, Chrome Mox is not that good in this format. Uh, I mean, like if yeah, if you've got if you've got the right deck for actually, it. But the, the the thing is, like, I have it in there. It actually wasn't Chrome Mox. Uh, yeah. So the the problem with it is essentially that if you're playing an artifact deck, you're not. Yeah, Serum Visions is. That's, yeah, I that, s- it's really shocking that that didn't get picked. Chrome Mox. Um, side of, side of hand did I get would... picked. That that got picked. Uh... Oh, it did. Oh wait, no, I, I don't think it. Sorry, no, I, I was lo- I was looking at careful study. Oh yeah, true name Nemesis is another yeah, tr- good one. I think true, I true name and Deathrite Shaman are probably the answers. Yep. Also, uh... um, yeah, there are a few, there are a few that I don't want to mention, but because. That spoils it. I kind of want to play this guessing game more. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I was actually yeah I was kind of going through and deleting. Um, <laughs> six, 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 <laughs> six, six, I don't know uh, ninth what uh, the spot. It's like ninth ninth seed ninth seed. Yeah, what's our odds on Vizardrix ninth seed? Yeah, I don't think it works for me. Um, I was kind of mad at Kyle for taking my Hedron Crab, but it's a very very good card in his deck. Um, Cody's just got a lot of really good blue cards. There's a like you don't have to uh, in this format you don't have to like go straight for the the combos and like the very highest top end because as long as you have like a consistent um, you know value engine going on mm-hmm. like you know just constant two for ones it's it's enough like cards like Brazen Borrower don't feel like that busted but when your deck is just like full of those cards um, it's really tough people forget how like this is not a like combo exclusive format right um like it but it feels it's that like way, oh though. combo oh no counterspell okay now we actually have to play a fair game of magic and yeah. so if you don't have anything on the board then it like you realize how painful it was for you to skip over like all of these planeswalkers and like all of these just like you know like hunt master of the fells type yeah. cards where it's just like oh that there's just a lot for the value. And I was a bit surprised that Renan Six was the first Planeswalker taken. It makes sense uh, why, though. Yeah, it makes I mean, sense why it was taken where it was. I but think... I was, I was a bit surprised. Well, once again, though, I think I think Kyle taking Passbond basically. You know, I think Mike had his um, strategy set in line too, and I think they just kind of like had to fight. Okay, cool. I have to like really mm-hmm. get some stuff going here, otherwise, you know, yeah, Kyle's I mean, gonna out outdraft a lot of my but you know even in, even in a format where there's like 12,000 cards you're still like oh crap I need these yeah I mean like I at the very end um, you know I'm getting down to like so right after I make the I, ba- I it's basically the Liliana the last hope pick I'm like okay the cards that I want to have in this deck now I have to I just have to go for it and there's still like 10 more cards that I could have easily like main boarded and just like didn't have enough picks to do mm-hmm. um, and so like I was Thinking about saving my last two picks for Stoneforge Mystic and Batter Skull. That's another uh, thing I thought. I thought right. you were going to go into that I, for I was, a while. I mean, like, I it was very, very close, and then like I, 
I went on Scryfall on my phone or whatever, and I was like, oh shit, Helm of Obedience hasn't been taken, and I already have yeah. the Helm of the Void. So, yeah, uh, and then from there, that, you're just, I, I feel like you went very, I thought you were going to get a little more narrow and go kind of into that, like, um, you know, Hate Bears slash almost uh, stack and swords and batter skull and equipment, yeah, even though I was jitty, that kind of style. I figured I would just... I don't think that, I don't see that style doing very very well though i think that's like no you know, it's uh, more of a that's good and okay let's well say Uma's modern a, but <laughs> brando would you say your deck is trying to yeet for distance or kobe for accuracy oh man do you have any Bye. interpretation of that i would i would say it's trying to uh yeet accurately yeah definitely yeah it's mm. trying to yeet it's accurately. trying to be um Trying to be a Ray Allen. <laughs> That's what I would say. From downtown. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's trying to it's trying to shoot a lot of threes, basically. Um, yeah. I there the deck can win in so many different ways, mm -hmm. and I'm like I'm just excited to you know, hopefully get those matches and those games on camera yeah. where it's just it's like just, something fun where you know I sacrifice a monastery mentor token to alter dementia for <laughs> to yeah. remove the library. And like I said, I think you know. Your deck is most afraid of Elaine being, you know, just car unlocking you. Uh, I, that would be bad. Yeah, <laughs> I would. That would. That would be not great. Um, I think everyone has the same opinions though, or it's just like, huh, yeah, car unlock, scary. Yeah. Um, um which yeah, I, I think that's why everyone tends to go like more. It seems like going more combo based because, I mean, I like to play red, and I think. Like going with the mono, you know. Eric was saying, you know, it's too slow. And like he's red, red, right? Red, I, I disagree with that. I think red is a very, very viable um, archetype in this format because of the whole like, if you don't get your combo, then you don't necessarily win, and you can run to red elemental blasts and like shatter, mm -hmm. shattering sprees or shatter or that, those kind of effects. Like splash white for Boros being able to like you know path or swords yeah, exactly. things path yeah. to exile. Lay line in case you know. I don't. Just, know yeah, just like things. there, like a like a Boros burn is. There's a lot of, um, a lot of opportunities there for you know to protect yourself against the the combos. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just like nobody ever wants to pull the trigger on that because it, it's just so tempting to get like those real fun combos going. And even in red, you can do stuff like the painter servant grindstone. You can. Yeah, do, that's true. There's there's a lot of uh, uh, combos like that that kind of just shove in right yeah no yeah there's definitely a lot of options but yeah. still it's just i always think of red as like okay cool i'm gonna go with uh you know I, I think yeah mike's was like the closest to that you know getting idle on and yeah um yeah, yeah my, my I, did, like, that, that, that dark tips pick was yeah <laughs> so wonderful i was cracking yeah. up like that is I, like that it's it's just absolutely savage to, to use your third pick to mm -hmm. just say, ah, no. Yeah, I love that. No, just, no, no, no. Yeah, he definitely, yeah, he definitely mutumboed that. Just bam. That was Already crazy. mutumboed like two players kind of battling for the same deck. And it was just like, up, yeah. oh, third player involved, but I'm also not going to do that. I do think Cody had to kind of backpedal a little bit, though, looking at, um, you know, just like... He was going very broad. We even talked about that. There are a couple of things with his deck that made him a little bit nervous, but overall, I think he's going to be fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, he's. I was like, at first, I was like, why did you splash black if you're just getting a Tezzeret? And then he, you know, he went hex parasite vampire hex mage. Was like, oh, you're yeah. going to go. You're going for that backdoor mm -hmm. dark depths, making something. And just, yep, that's nice. Yeah. Um. All right. Well. I think I'm gonna get out of here and get that deck together, and hopefully, uh, you know, at some point, give you some entertaining uh, magic. Please do that. Yeah. yeah.